Davy's driving me mad in the salon, going on and on about Tina. Oh. No, thanks. I mean, I know it's sad and all that, but honestly, we've only been at work two hours and he's not even stopped for breath. Who had a motive? Who saw the last? It's like Fleming Poirot. What's up? <laughs> what do you think, you silly, selfish girl? She was my stepdaughter. David's stepsister. Yeah, but... Well, not really. What do you mean, not really? I was married to a father. I mean, just because something happened before you arrived... Oh, I'm sorry, I just didn't think... No, you never do. Hello? Yes, this is she. Oh. Right. Well, apart from Kyle, eh? Hiya. Hi. Where are the kids? Uh, I've just put Lily down and Max is playing in his room. Perfectly happy. Yeah, I just want to see him. Oh, if he's like this now, I'm dreading the funeral. I've never seen him like this before. Yes, well, I've decided I'm not going to sit around feeling sorry for myself. I've been looking at this restorative justice thing the woman was ringing about. Why the heck would you want to meet the loser who burgled us? Reoffending rates are much lower among criminals who meet their victims. And the meetings often give victims a sense of closure. I'll give him closure, all right. Yeah, I, I'm sick of being scared of jumping every time there's a noise outside. I nearly had a heart attack the other night when a cat jumped on a dustbin lid. Well, I'm not meeting up with some druggy crim. Cup of tea, couple of iced fingers, and sorry I robbed you. No time. I'm gonna do it. It'll empower me, I reckon. That's what this woman says here. And once you put a face to your attacker, he ceases to become the bogeyman. And when you've finished your little chat app and you can join hands and sing a chorus of Come By Ya. Please, spare me the lecture on computers. No, I wouldn't dream of it. Good, because an appointments book serves us very well here, even though Maria will insist on doing those little circles instead of dotting the eyes. Have you heard from her? Yes, I spoke to her mum yesterday. Uh, Maria was having a nap. She's enjoying the sunshine and the animals, her mum says. She's lucky Tyrone didn't press charges. Yes, well, she knows that. Anyway, I thought you were big on forgiveness. Justice. Restorative justice. Oh, I stand corrected. First you have the justice, and then you work on the forgiveness. I'm seeing Michael Rodwell this afternoon, actually. What, the burglar? Five o'clock. Well, what is it? Tea and digestives? It's supposed to be very helpful. Oh. I imagine he'll be full of flannel or self-pity, or both. As long as I get to say me piece. Well, I would come with you, darling, but it's a bit tricky with Maria away and David off. Well, actually, you've got Mrs. Grigson at 3.30 and then you're as dead as a dodo. Yes, OK, thank you very much. Well, the day is still young, you know. We have a lot of walk-ins here. If you say so. Anyway, it's going to be supervised, isn't it? They're hardly likely to lock you in a room with him. Yes, you're right, it'll be fine. Get a grip, Gail. Oh, go on, then. I'll pick you up at half four. Thanks, ma'am. Ooh. Ooh. Do you know the hairs on the back of my neck? Ooh. Apparently this is the Ritz compared to most prisons. Well, you're a braver man than I am, Gordon Good Dean. I'm not doing it for him, I'm doing it for me. Well, at least you're taking some action. You're not sitting at home in a bobbly guard, wringing your hands. I've done plenty of that and all. My cardies aren't bobbly. I wonder how Mr. Rodwell's feeling. Probably getting brownie points. Well, I wouldn't like a one-to-one -one with everybody I've heard over the years to go on forever. <laughs> Mrs. McIntyre? Uh, that's me. Can you come with me? Hey, go on, my darling. Now you say what you need to say, right? And remember, I'm just the other side of the wall. Go on. I got you, 
I'm Gail. And I was burgled. I'm Michael, and I committed the burglary. This meeting pertains to a burglary that took place at number eight Coronation Street on Monday the 24th of March. Gail, perhaps you'd like to start. I just want to know if he knows the trouble he's caused, the worry. I do, and I'm sorry. I expect that's what they tell you to say, is it? No. You could at least have the decency to look at me. If I could change what I did to you, I would. You make it sound like you didn't have a choice. I, I did. I know I did. I just wanted to get enough to pay bills, buy some food. I feel human, I suppose. If you expect me to feel sorry for you, I... I don't. Good. Because your decision to march into my house... I don't even know how I ended up there. It was just random. Well, how was I supposed to know that? I thought I'd been targeted. I thought you were watching me. Every day and every night, I was terrified you'd come back. It could have been anyone. It wasn't, was it? It was me. Not some uh, anonymous statistic. It was me. A person. And now, when I go home and shut the door, instead of feeling safe, I feel scared. Scared of being alone in my own house. You made me a victim and I hate you for that. I feel so ashamed. Good. Yeah. To yeah. bed at night. Anyway, it's not just about me, is it? You've terrorised my grandson. Gave him nightmares. Got kids, have you? Yeah, well, how would you like it if he or she would... He? Anna wouldn't. I used to have a house. A bit like yours, actually. And a family. Lost my business in the recession, and that was it. Started the downward spiral, as they say. Before I knew it, I was divorced, homeless, jobless. All the things you think happen to other people. Well, you must have been able to get some help without resorting to burglary. It's not quite how you're led to believe in the papers. But you know what? There was only one person to blame, and that's me. I made the wrong choices, and I deserve to face the consequences. I'm just sad that you've been a victim of my stupidity. Well, if us talking like this ensures that I'm the last, that's something, I suppose. I will be, won't I? The last? Put it this way. I'm about as good a burglar as I was a businessman. I know it might seem like just words, but I really am very sorry. And not because I'm guilty, but because I'm sorry. Good. Thanks for coming. I don't. I did. Good luck. Thanks. Bye bye. Right. I take it you're not here for your full head of foils and to bore me for two and a half hours about your roof repair. Tell your gran to come and find me when she's got a minute, will you? Uh, I'll be at home or in the gym. Well, what do you want her for? We know what she wants her for. Yeah, I know we know. I just wanted to see if she'd admit it. You don't know what I want her for. You're not mind readers. No. We're envelope readers. Think we didn't see that letter what arrived this morning? That you would. Prison postmark. I did not hide it. One minute there, gone next, you've disappeared. Who takes the post to work? Yeah, so what is it? The restorative justice folk want you to talk to our friend and neighbourhood burglar. Another two weeks off his sentence. It was from Michael, actually. What, from him? As in what? He's written to you? Personally. Well, what did it say? <sighs> Dear Mug, feel sorry for <laughs> me. I won't need nothing off you again. Just give me your life savings. It was a very respectful letter, actually. Well, let's see it. No! Well, you were going to show it, Gran. No, I 
wasn't. I was going to talk it burn through it. with her. Shred it. Burn it. Shred it, then burn it. On whether to reply. And before you start, he's not after out. He feels guilty. Well, he is guilty. The judge told him that. Just tell her I want to see her, will you? I can't even believe he's allowed to write. Is he allowed to write? I'm surprised he can write. So what could you possibly... Where's David put Max a scooter? Under the stairs. You're looking up the word shove off. No. Mm -hmm. And that's two words. A lemon no. Oh, your alphabet's coming on, Gail. If you've got no nice to say... But I hope it's you that's got no nice to say. Or is that what you're looking up, nice words? No. Challenging words. Eh? Well, if I'm going to write to him, encouraging him to change his ways, then it's got to be a bit more than a letter, has not it? Well, what else should it be? Educational. No, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've been out posting letters. No, it's not typed up yet. Typed up? I bet he put less thought into his house-breaking plans. I'm going up. I'm typing to him in bed now. I'm gonna chuck a couple of monkey stories in, are you? I am not. Uh, can you keep your voice down, please? What's Max doing still up? No, he won't settle. He's only just gone off. He's got school tomorrow. No, was he really? Can't force him asleep, Mum. What should we do? Bang him on the head with something, ever? A dictionary. You're better used for it rather than wasting words on Michael Flaming Rodwell. There's no shame in giving people second chances. Yeah, well, if Borgie Man's under bed, will you give me a shout and I'll make him a brew? I hope she asks me to post it. That ticket stub for the dry cleaners thing, I swear I left it here. Careful. It's mine. You're not really going to send it. I most certainly am. This is stupid. Oh, for goodness sake, David, it doesn't matter. Mum, of course it matters. I need the ticket so that I can get I get the suit for the funeral. Give them your details. You don't need the ticket. What? Oh, have you never been to a dry cleaners before? No. Max, come here. Max, now! You're giving him too much sugar. No, I'm not. I saw a documentary on it the other week. <sighs> Bye, Max. Oh, please be good for Gail, otherwise she's going to give me a lecture on my parenting mm. skills. No, there's room for improvement. Oh, says the woman who's busy mates with a thief. You wouldn't understand. Yeah, you're right. I wouldn't. No. You got it all right, then? Mm. You know, I was thinking, last time I wore this, I was in court for running Graham over. Tina went mad at me. Sit down, I'll get you a tinner. No. Nah. Did you just say no to a beer? Not really in the mood. I've got something that might cheer you up. What? I found the letter that Gail wrote to that tea leaf. Oh, well, that's all. Dear Michael, I knew when we met there was a spark, but I couldn't admit it to myself. I don't believe this. You've suffered in your life too. We are both sad and lonely, but together I think we could rock. <laughs> that doesn't sound like my mum. <laughs> Is this you? Because <laughs> where you had me there until that last bit. I really thought she'd written it. We she could rock. She might have for all we know. God knows what she really wrote in that letter. I told you it's weird. Boy of yours is exhausting. Couldn't get on the bus, then kept running up and down the stairs. Let's hope football wears him out, eh? And before you ask, I am not picking him up. I've done. What's so funny? Did you uh, post your letter? Yes. <laughs> oh, grow up. Rock on, Gail. <laughs> well, hey, then think about it. Have you decided what you're going to say at the funeral? No, not really. Just hope I get inspired. You could always mention the scrap she had with me. Uh, it takes two to tango. Mm, she was feisty, I'll give her that. Yeah, she was. No guess who that's from. Has he not heard of email? Can't afford a computer. I'm sure he could nick one from somewhere. Well, he doesn't have to now, cos he's got the job. You mean he's out? Yeah, released a couple of days ago and they helped him find a job in a garden centre. <sighs> Watch your plants, everyone. 
Do we have to do this today? Yeah, Kylie, give it a rest. You know, I still can't believe she's dead. First Joe, now his daughter. It seemed right somehow. Well, that's because it isn't. Sooner Barlow's locked up the bed. Hey, they're off my bed. I'm building a nest. Not with my pillars, you're not, Kylie. Oh, why do teachers need training days? They're already trained. Earth is coming. You can tidy up this lot while we're out. I've got the kids to look after. Most mothers manage both. Still, if you're not up to it. To dust. Ensure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our frail bodies so that we may be conformed to his glorious body, who died, was buried, and rose again for us. To him be glory forever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, I'll get rid but of deliver you. us from evil. what she would have wanted, to be buried near her dad. Yeah. They were very close. Even when she was little. It was a dad she always clung to. He used to call her his princess. He thought the world of I mean, it wasn't even like it was her problem. That was Tina, though, wasn't it? Show her an injustice and she couldn't let it lie. Oh, I bet she's not here to show her respects. Hiya. Mum, get the drinks in, will ya? So how's business? Yeah, it's good. Stuff's flying off the shelves. Glad to hear it. It's Rob about? Last seen getting in the back of a police car. You what? Mm, I'm Peter, too. Peter? Why, what's happened? They had a punch-up at the graveside. Tina's mum was thrilled. Very becoming, it was. Oh, no. Did you know Peter was going? I thought I'd talked him out of it. Was he drunk? He was hammered. Oh. At least the coppers have got him now. He practically confessed. Why, what did he say? Something about destroying her life, like she destroyed his, that they were even. Yeah, so probably won't be seeing him round here anymore. Still, every cloud. Look, there, there is no way that he did it. I know Peter. Not as well as you thought he did. But he was drunk. He, he obviously didn't know what he was saying. I, uh, think it might be best if you leave. I've already had my daughter's funeral ruined. At least let me have a wake. Look, I'm sorry, but there's no way that Peter... Ma'am, just leave it. He, he... We'll phone the police and we'll find out what happened. Come on. Mm. Peter Barlow's been arrested. You kidding? No. Oh. Turned up drunk and then confessed everything. Oh, trust me to miss all the fun. Now, where are the kids? Max is in his room, Lily's asleep. All right for some. You've been sat there all day, have you? Um, I haven't, actually. Must have taken you all of ten minutes. Not a cup of day. Please. I'll have you know I've cleaned this house from top to bottom, despite them two running me ragged. Is that that rug from our bedroom? Yeah, I just thought it looked better down here. Oh, you know, where are the tea bags? In the cupboard on the end, I've reorganised stuff a bit. Why? Duh, because it looks better. Duh, can't find them now. Look, if I were to change stuff round, I will. It's our house, not yours. I have to live here. <laughs> no, you don't. Well, can you two just shut up, please? Where's my mug? Max broke it. That's my favourite mug. I've had it for years. Time for a new one, then. Why don't I leave the house for five minutes and I come back to chaos? Chaos? I'll tell you what chaos is. Trying to do all the housework while you've got two kids to juggle. I feet I managed perfectly well for a number of years, and that were with three kids. Oh, I've had enough of this. I'm off back to the pub. Now, come we I could do with a drink. Well, if you think I'm child minding after the day I've had, you can think again. I'm going for a soak. I wish he'd stop beating me. I had a dream about Tina. Oh, really? Mm. It's very muddled. You know the way dreams are? Yeah. 
She was going on holiday, wanted to borrow me travel line. <laughs> Wish it could have been something a bit more meaningful. <laughs> but it was good to see her. Larger than life. I then asked to shock all over again when I woke up and remembered. Morning. Morning. Yeah, you all right? You don't work here anymore. You don't say. I tried to call you last night. Funeral. It was tough on Simon, you know, I was worried about it. Sorry. So where were you? I was with Cal. All night. Thought I'd better tell you before somebody else does. We've decided to make a go of it. Well, there's no need to rub his face in it. I'm not. You are, you're gloating. Oh, and you can stop doing that face. What face? The hang dog, poor me, it's pathetic. Yeah, well, you just oh, you stop just right there. Oh, you just write your nose out, Gail. Look, I don't want to hurt you, but I'll put your feelings before me own for far too long. Well, not anymore. Never guessed. The hands taken up with Cal from the gym. Yo, Gail, what up, dog? Honestly, David, you're a married man. You've got two kids and a mortgage. Hell yeah. If I come to the right house, shall I go out and come back in again? I think you just go out and stay out. Kylie, come on. No one's in the mood for any or argy bargy. She's right. I don't blame her. Been very short tempered lately. Can't be easy to live with. You say that again. I'm just feeling so down about everything. And now, Tina. I know it's been tough. No, I hate to admit it, but. I'm trying not to think about it. It seems heartless, I know. But I'm trying to pretend like nothing ever happened. And then I feel guilty because it's like I've forgotten her already. But she'd understand. I know she would. Yes, yeah, she would. Anyway, I'm sorry, Kylie. You seem to have borne the brunt of it. No worries. <sighs> yeah, well, I'm going upstairs. Stick the huh? kettle on, Dave. Should be you. I've done something really stupid. Don't it? I mean, if it wasn't for people like me, people like Michael Rodwell would languish in prison forever. And if he did get out, where would you be, eh? On a scrappy. Some might say he deserved it. Yeah, but if he can turn his life around because of my forgiveness, my compassion, then... Well, it's like I've set him free. As long as he stays away from here. Oh, he won't bother us again. I genuinely feel he's learned his lesson. You hardly know the bloke. He broke into your home, and now for some incredible reason, you've set yourself up as his saviour. Why can't you just say, well done, Mother, what a decent person you are? Because he robbed your house. Oh, well, if everybody thought like that, where would we be, eh? Anyway, technically he didn't. What are you looking so jumpy about? Nothing. I'm not being ungrateful. Again. See you later. I'm sorry for pitching up out of the blue. So you should be. Shut up, David. It's fine. It's just a bit of a surprise, that's all. I know I should have called first. I, I was going to. I looked up your number in the book, but I, I lost my nerve. Well, you soon found it again. I had to come. After your mum's letter. It was more than I could have hoped for. Well, I'm not one to bear a grudge. You're not kidding. That first time we talked, I knew there was a spark, but I thought I was kidding myself. Prison does things to you. Yeah, so will I in a minute if no, you don't do David, one. That's enough. I thought my last chance of happiness had gone, Gail. But when I read what you wrote about love and destiny. All right, that's I, enough. That's Come it. on. Wait. On your what way. are you talking about? David, put him down. Him. He's off his head. Wait, just put him down. What were you saying? It's what you said. I could never have expressed it so well. If I've read it once, I've read it a hundred times. Mom, look. Uh, may I see that? I'm sorry, Michael. I'm afraid you've been the victim of a childish hoax. I've never seen this before. But if you didn't write it, then... I must have left it there. Oh, well, do you want to borrow mine to give colour ring? No, I'll be just expecting it round, won't it? Thanks. I've been treading water since I got out. Then I got your letter. Um, that letter. Well, it was like a life belt. You know, someone to cling on to. I'm so sorry. What are you apologising to him for? He burgled our house. Yes, and he's paid the penalty. You had no right rubbing his nose in it. I mean, he must feel totally humiliated, like a complete and utter fool. 
Oh, sorry I'm late. Mrs Pycross Latte went down the wrong way. She was in her right stick. What's he doing here? Well, I thought you'd be pleased. He is your new pen pal, after all. You're the strong yet sensitive man I've been yearning for. The answer to every question I've ever had. Look, I'm sorry, Gail. I didn't know you'd be sad enough to turn up here, did I? I mean, there's desperate and there's desperate. I beg your pardon? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. I shouldn't have sent it. It was lame. But I was angry with you. So why take it out on him? Why not? He's a good-for-nothing lowlife that deserves all he gets. Thanks for the tea. I must really... You stay up, but... where you are. You had no right playing with his emotions. I mean, whatever Michael's done, he's still flesh and blood. Yeah, and I'll prove that in a minute. Come on, you. Out me house. Move. Ignore him. No. Finish your tea. No, really. I, I, I should go. I shouldn't oh, have come. No, I'm sorry if I've caused you... I, I, I'm sorry. Good riddance to bad rubbish, that's what I said. It's not as primitive as I thought. You missed your calling. It's a job for you here at Mills and Bean. <laughs> Cheers. Maybe I should have turned up for my English exam after all. Don't encourage her. They've tormented a vulnerable man. I mean, goodness knows what he might do now. Well, he can do what he likes, as long as he doesn't do it here. And what about me? I've been through a terrible ordeal, but I was coming out the other end. I was sorry. Yeah, and you did wind her up. So you decide to make fun of me. Go to ridiculous lengths. You know, Dave doesn't do things by arms. Now, hold on. I, I knew about that letter all right, but I wasn't the one who posted it. I mean, it, it was just a joke that got out of hand, that's all. You see me laughing, David? Is Michael laughing? I mean, if it wasn't so hurtful, it'd be pitiful. <laughs> wonder what he's thinking now. He's probably trying to decide whether to have cereal or... Toast for breakfast. You wouldn't think there were only one kid up there, would you? Hmm? No, sounds like a herd of elephants. The look on Michael's face when he realised that letter was a hoax. Utterly heartbreaking. Oh, Mum, will you give it a rest? And to have your hopes built up like that and then so cruelly snatched away. You can be very harsh when you put your mind to it. Look, I've said I'm sorry. Can we just let it go now, please? Can I have your fried bread? Uh, sorry to bother you again, but uh, I can't leave things the way they are. I, I don't mind tucking on the step. Oh, we could go to that little cafe around the corner. Shout your necklace cake. Oh, well, I've got Lily asleep upstairs. Oh. Uh, sorry, uh, have I called it a bad time? No. Or is any time a bad time when it comes to me? Don't say that. Only you look a bit flustered. Oh, yeah, well, I've... Um... Uh, I've just started my exercise DVD. Oh. Bounce your way to happiness. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds a bit daft when you say it out loud. <laughs> I'll leave you to it then. Uh, no, no. Uh, any excuse to stop and have a nice cup of tea? Wow. Right. You're very kind, Gail. Uh, it's just a biscuit, even if it is from my secret stash. No, I meant I robbed this house, yet yeah, here we are. Well, I'm not one to bear a grudge. You forgiving me like this, it means the world. Have you got an itch? I've got some antihistamine in the bathroom cabinet. Not, not as such, no. It, it's me anklet giving me jip. Oh. Done half crampy style. No more disco dancing till dawn. <laughs> Do you know, I came out of prison with nothing. No home, no possessions, not an ounce of self-respect. Your faith in me, well, it gave me a kick up the backside, in a good way. I'm glad. Now, I've got myself a bed sit. Nice little job at Weatherfield Garden Centre. I mean, how lucky am I? I was a fool to think a woman like you could send a love letter to someone like me. Well, I'm nothing special. I know Kelly was only having a joke. Kylie. Okay, Kylie, sorry. But I was mortified when I found out, and I could see you were, too. But this doesn't mean it has to be the end of us, does it? Only I, I know it might seem presumptuous, but it would be great if we could be friends. You again? Get out before I chuck you out! Come on, you heard it out now. Michael is a guest in this house. Don't speak to him like that. Yeah, a guest? Are you mad? 
He robbed us blind? Have you never made a mistake? I think we all know the answer to that. You can't trust him, Gail. Turn your back, he'll be helping himself to your handbag. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you might be all right with having a criminal in the house, but I've got the kids to think of. Oh, don't be so sanctimonious. I'd never harm a child. What do you think I am? Well, you know Gail's a soft touch. That's why you're moving in on her. That's enough. I should go. Don't let them bully you. I've got to go anyway. I'm at the garden centre this afternoon. My shift starts at half two. Well, remember, you're welcome here any time. Right, shift. Hello. What is wrong with you? Yeah, this is Mrs. Platt. Don't treat me like I'm a dimwit. I am perfectly capable of choosing who I spend my time with. Mum, he's playing you. Michael is a decent man. <laughs> right, yeah, we'll be there straight away. What? School. Max is kicking off again. <sighs> having a facial, if you please, while the cat's away. <laughs> Thanks, Sally. You've done a lovely job. Oh, it's no great shakes, is it, hemming a pair of pants? Well, I'm terrible at sewing. The hem on my other trousers held up with sellotape. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to report you to the style police. No fun being short, you know. David says I'm just the right height for him to rest his pint on me head. Oh, cheeky beggar. He's not exactly lanky himself, is he? You don't know the half of it. Had a right go at me this morning. How come? I'd invited Michael in for a cup of tea. What, thieving, Michael? Restorative justice, Michael. Gail, is that a good idea? Right, Max, and when you come in, can you wash all that cream off your face? You look a right joke. How did you get on at school? What a fuss about, no. Oh, he's not crept back in then, has he? Let me guess, is he hiding under that rug? See what I'm up against? Well, they're only worried about you. He is a convicted criminal. See? I mean, I'm not being funny, Gail, but, well, you've not got the best track record when it comes to choosing men, have you? Yes! Thank you, Sally. Talk some sense into her. My experiences with men mean I can spot a wrong and a mile off. I've had a lifetime of it. If they gave out certificates, I'd have a PhD. Gail McIntyre, Dr. Love. <laughs> On that bombshell, I'm going to make a cuppa. I like Michael. Get over it. I'd better get back. I don't want to push my luck. Well, thanks for these, Sally. And if there's anything I can do for you... Like what? Well, I, I could make you some of my mushroom volivants, you know, my speciality. I'll let you know. Bye. I reckon she's really got the odds for him. See? And you wonder why I didn't want to leave her on her own? I'm not kissing my oldie goodbye. It was some flipping tea leaf. We've got no choice, Carla. You want to bet? Look. We can't risk it. Who knows what the bloke's capable of? Right, if I sort him out, promise me we're off to Barbados. Where have you been? Nowhere. It's ten past six. So? Tea time. Oh, sorry, I went for a walk. I wanted to know him, but my mum said no. Never mind, Chuck. I'll get you one for your birthday. Right, wash your hands. Come on. <laughs> When I got locked in, my mum had to get the door down like Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> All right, go on, wash your hands. Locked in where? I don't know. Vivid imagination, that one. Just makes it up as it goes along. Mmm, what's that smell? It's gorgeous. Oh, it's just shepherd's pie. Oh, nice, yummy. Mm, well, I made it with meat substitute instead of mince. Actually, it tastes like cardboard, but it's better for you. Can't wait. You and your fancy foreign ways. So dinky. And you never guess that they were packed full of such good things. I mean, vitamin this, vitamin that, beta carotene. I mean, that the one that turns you orange? Yeah, you probably have to eat like a ton of them, though. I'd best make a start then. You know, so lovely. Little green miracles. Mm. Mm. You get that. Your legs are younger than mine. You go, Kyla. Oh, you go, David. It's bone idle, the pair of you. <sighs> Where's Max gone for his tea? Oh, he's at his mates, um, Gerard's. I think Gerard de Pardon. We've got a right French theme going tonight, what haven't do we? you want? Yeah, we're so continental. <laughs> um, you've got no right barging in here. Nice work. I lost my job because of you two. Right, do one or I'm going to phone the police. No, uh, let him speak. It's hard enough for an ex-con to find work. Now I've got no chance. Back on the scrap heap, not a hope in hell. What have they done to you? We were only looking out for you. Yeah, should be thanking us. Enough. Michael? They came to the garden centre and accused me of all sorts in front of my boss. That was that. 
That's on me ear. For goodness sake, what is wrong with you? I love that job. I'm sorry, Gail. None of this is your fault. No. Michael, wait. Why would you do such a thing? I mean, he had so little, and now well, he's got... That's like Carly said. I did it for you. You're shaking. I'm ashamed of the pair of you. Well, we might have gone a bit over the A top. bit? The man's lost his livelihood. Mum, we were trying to protect you. For the umpteenth time, I don't need protecting. Well, it's not that long ago you were taken in by Lewis. He fooled you and all. He fooled everyone. I think you should apologise. But he got what he deserved. That job meant the world to him. It gave him something to live for. I mean, what now? Mum, it's not your problem. Yeah, what's done is done. We just need to put it all behind us well, now. Well, unfortunately, it's not as simple as that. You've been so cruel to him, I feel we owe him. We owe him nothing, Mum. He robbed our house. Who are you to judge anyone? Anyway, your nasty little tricks have backfired this time. I'm going to do everything in my power to get Michael back on track. Uh, never mind the spinning. Uh, just wait there a moment, will you? Good morning, Gail. May I say you're looking radiant as ever? Well, I don't feel very radiant. I was very pleased to get out of the house and come to work, actually. Uh, who's this? Uh, this is Alia, uh, my granddaughter. Yeah. She's going to be working here over the summer. As a receptionist? But what about me and Katie? You're not cutting our shifts, are you? Um, not exactly. But... You're firing me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, of course not. We're just going to move you to a different department. One that will utilize your skills in a more... Which department? Cleaning? Why do I always have to be the cleaner? Clean? Well, you should have said. Mm, I just did. What's going on? Why aren't you working on reception? Oh, there's been a bit of restructuring. My granddaughter needed a job for the summer, so I had to make a few changes. I bet this was his idea. Who? I can't count. I'm sorry, I don't... Oh, don't protect him. I mean, he's not worth it for a start. Right, no, it's not. Whatever you think, it's got nothing to do with my son. It's just business. Oh, well, you're a bigger liar than uh, he is. That's enough. We're doing something up for him. He's taking advantage. Him and that Michael, whatever his name is, and you can't see it. What's Michael got to do with any of this? He's no good for you. When you stay away from me, he's going to end up hurting you. I'd like you to go now, please. I mean it. I will not be told who I can see and who I cannot see by my own sons. Now go before you embarrass yourself anymore. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize for your family. Don't I? Excuse me. Gail! What? What are you doing here? Leaving. I've obviously made a mistake. No, no, wait a minute. It's not what it looks like. Well, what is it then? Come inside. I'll explain. Burgled. Yeah. Feel free to go na 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 na, by the way. What did they take? There wasn't much to take, but they got it anyway. Everything else they trashed, even the best shirt. When did this happen? Yesterday afternoon. It's when he came round to my house, wasn't it, to tell David and Kylie you'd been fired? To be fair, it would have happened sooner or later anyway. Someone gets broken into every other day round here. I just hope that with a job, maybe, I'd be able to save up and move somewhere a bit safer. Looks like I'm stuck here now, though. Not if I can help it. What do you mean? I want to help. How? Find you another job. Gail, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but this isn't your problem. All my family has ever done is make your life more miserable than it was before. No offence. <laughs> None taken. So, like I said, I'm going to try and fix that. Come on. Where are we going? Uh, I told you. I'm going to find you another job. And uh, don't forget to lock the door. I've got a clean driver's licence. I'm a hard worker and a fast learner. Well, so far, so good. 
But there is one thing you should know. I've not long been out of prison. Oh, and what were you in for? Burglary. Well, listen, thanks for your honesty, if that's the right word. But, um, it's not exactly a glowing recommendation. I made a mistake. A bad one. But I've turned over a new leaf. Is that a tea leaf? I don't think that's very funny, Eileen. Well, humour never was your strong point, was it, Gail? Anyway, what's it got to do with you? How do you even know him? We met when we... At bingo. Oh. Didn't know you played bingo, Gail. There's a lot you don't know about me, Eileen. Mm. Anyway, I'm here to vouch for Michael. He's a good man, and you just need someone to let him prove it. Well, as it happens, we are a bit short-staffed at the moment, but you won't be driving. Have you ever worked to switch? No, but I, as I said, I'm a fast learner. All right. OK, we'll come in tomorrow at one o'clock and we'll see how you get on. But any trouble, you're out. Thanks. I won't let you down. Well, maybe you said that. Well, Todd will be feel better. Yes. Well, don't. I don't know what to say. This morning I was sitting there thinking things couldn't get any worse and now I've got a job. It's all down to you. Oh, I didn't do much. Oh, yeah, you did. You believed in me. Thank you. I've been thinking. I'm gonna need a new bikini for this holiday. No, I haven't come. Because the elastic's gone in the old one. I've got swimming in the sea at night. It won't just be Nemo I'll be finding in there. You're not even listening. Oi! What the hell do you think you're doing? I, I was just saying thanks to your mum. Really? Because from where I was stood, it looked like you were trying to cop a field. Don't be ridiculous. He's telling you the truth. All right, well, what were you thanking you for, then? For getting him a job at streetcars. Here, why? Because if it wasn't for you, he'd still have a job at the garden centre. Oh, no, Mum, well, I'm not having him working on our doorstep. <laughs> Sorry, it's not up to you. Or you. Or Nick. When are you all going to understand that, eh? Come on. I'll walk you to the bus stop. Right, that's it. I've got to do something about this. Hiya. Gail! Come in. Uh, well, I can't stay long. Uh, no problem. It, it's a lovely surprise. I bought you a present. A present? <laughs> Open it. Oh, yeah. I thought you could do with a replacement. I don't know what to say. Well, we can't have you looking like a scruff on your first day, can we? Thank you. Well, um, I'd best be going. Right. I'll, uh, I'll check up on you later. Smashing. I'll never forget your kindness, Gail. Just do yourself proud, eh? Count on it. In your game or what? Yeah, 100%. Hello, love. All right, ma'am. Is your granny? Uh, no, no, she's nipped out to the wholesalers. Why? Everything all right? Yeah, I just needed a chat, that's all. You nipped out early this morning? Yeah, I had to go to the chemist. So, uh, what am I interrupting? Oh, nothing. Really? No, um, Nick just wanted to offload about Leanne, you know, so. Yeah, uh, Dave's a really good listener. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Long may it continue. Ham and tomato. Thank you for choosing streetcars. Have a very pleasant evening. Oh, hi. Hi. Where's Michael? Well, your guess is as good as mine. It never showed. Well, that's strange. I'm sure there must be a very good reason. Mm, tell that to fat Brenda. She's supposed to be having a wax. I don't understand her. He was so excited when we spoke this morning. Well, maybe he got a better offer. Or he's just bone idle. I'll have you know Michael is very diligent and hard-working. If you say so, Gail, it doesn't alter the fact that I am a switch operator down and I've got a very disgruntled, hairy-legged woman gunning for me. I'm sorry. Um, I'll get to the bottom of it, I promise. Oh, whatever, Gail. Trust me, I've got bigger worries right now. Streetcars! So what do you fancy? If you're in there, will you open the door, please? Evening. Evening. You woke me up. You were sleeping. Well, it's something to do. 
think you'll find you already had something to do. Streetcars, trial shift, ring any bells? I wasn't able to make it. And so I discovered. I'm sorry for any inconvenience I've caused. It's Lloyd and Steve you owe the apology to, not me. Yeah, well, maybe you could pass it on. I beg your pardon. Gail, do yourself a favour and go home. Not until you speak to me. I said, go home. And I said, no. Mate, I'm off. Copper. No, I don't want a copper. I want to know what's going on. I persuaded Steve to give you a chance. I personally vouch for you. I realise that, and I'm yeah, sorry. That's not an explanation. Why didn't you turn up? Could we maybe do this another time? I am not going until you talk to me. Has something else happened, Michael? Are you in trouble? You can tell me. You can tell me anything. I know. I knew it the first moment we met. That's the problem. Well, I don't follow. I thought I could be just your friend. But I thought wrong. What are you saying? I'm saying I want more. I need more, Gail. See. Working so close to you every day would be torture. It's difficult. No, you don't have to justify yourself. Would you like me to stay away? Like doesn't come into this. But it'd probably be for the best. I'm so sad you feel that way. If you change your mind... I won't. I understand. Bye, then. Bye, Gail. Thought you were going to work. So did I. Seems your brother had other plans. How do you mean? I think he's lost the plot. One day he's terrorising folk, the next he's shutting the bistro. The bistro? What, he's closing it down? You and your brother are a law unto yourselves. I mean... I give up on you. Mum, one day you'll thank us for having a word without Michael. Having a word? Is that what you call it? Mm, yeah, I do. Anyway, it's done now, so... Well, that's how you might see it, but me, I think there's always a chance to put things right. You do know I didn't really say anything, do you? I mean, Nick was the one so who... So you are going to go to Steve and tell him why Michael didn't turn up for work. What? And I'm going with you, just in case you decide to bottle it. Mum. You're doing this, David. End of... Well, he'll be with you as soon as he can. We're a man down. He's... Yeah, well, I'm not very happy about it myself. <sighs> Sorry, Gail, it's going to be at least half an hour. And thank you for recommending that waste of space. He never showed up. We don't want a taxi. It's Michael we've come about. Go on, David. Well, I didn't actually say anything, really. Now, by rights, Nick should be here as well, but we can't find him. Well, whatever it is, can you make it quick? Because I'm uh, up to my eyeballs here. Nick told Michael to stay away, to keep out my mum's life. Threatened him. Him and Nick. I'm mortified. Right. We didn't want him taking advantage of my mum, so we told him to keep away from the area. What, and he listened? Well, more fooling. Michael needs a break. He's on one permanently. Yeah, it's probably best, really. I mean, he is on tag, so... David! Well, what? He is? Hasn't it got to be indoors by, like, seven o'clock? The guidelines say if he can prove he's got work... Yeah, but it's not ideal, though, is it? It's far from ideal. Please, Steve, if I have a word with him, will you give him another chance? Oh, I'm not big on no-shows, Gail. No, but these are extenuating circumstances. <sighs> Tell him to give me a ring, but only because we're very short-staffed. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Steve. This is a good and noble thing you've done. Oi! Smiler, I don't want a word with you. Hope you don't mind me coming. Of course not. Well, I could have phoned, but I uh, wanted to tell it to your face. Did you speak to Steve? Yes. And he's keeping your job open at streetcars. No way! You start on Wednesday. <laughs> You're giving me another chance? I had to throw myself on his mercy, but uh, the end justifies the means. <laughs> oh, but that's wonderful. I did my best. And the next time anyone in my family gives you hassle, you come to me, eh? 
don't hide away. You're my guardian angel. You must stay for your tea. Oh, uh... Or is that... No. No, it'd be lovely. If you can bear to eat in a hovel. It's lovely. I've got a spud in the oven. We can go halves. I'll have some stew. Well, if you don't mind. It does smell gorgeous. It's the least I can do. Then we'll dine like kings. You're reopening, Andrew, aren't you? How's the stew? Mmm. So tasty. <laughs> <laughs> I just chuck in what I can find. Thanks for letting me have the tray. It's good with the beanbag under, isn't it? Stops it sliding. Well, you're the guest. Very gallant. <laughs> <laughs> Gallant's my middle name. Mm -hmm. Actually, Marlon's my middle name. Oh, that's unusual. After Marlon Brando. He won the Oscar the year I was born on the waterfront. Very rugged. <laughs> if I'd been a girl, I would have been Audrey. After Audrey Hepburn. Oh, to tell me man that. <laughs> and why Michael? Oh, that was after a GI my mum fell in love with in the war. It's oh, romantic. Not for me dad. Is that your little boy? Yeah, though he's not a baby now. He didn't take it well when we split. Not spoken to me since. I, uh, I didn't behave very well. Well, all of us have passed. It was a world away. I was a different man then. When I think of what I've lost. You can get it all back. One step at a time. Better be going. The buses are quite frequent. I'll walk you to the stop only. It's OK. It's after seven. I feel like a hoodlum in a 50s movie on a curfew. <laughs> and I suppose I am. It's not how I see it. Gail, before you go, I'd like to give you something, if that's OK. Oh. To say thank you for everything you've done for me. You don't have to. I want to. OK. I'd like you to have this. It's beautiful. Does it have a name? It's even got a middle name. called a dianthus. Smells lovely. Also known as a dainty dame. R reminds me of you. <laughs> I think my dainty days are over. Looks fragile, but they're tough little blooms. And, as you say, very fragrant. Don't know what to say. Then say nothing. I I'm sorry I can't walk you to the bus. No, it's OK. I'll be fine. And, um, text me when you get in, yeah. so, so I know you're safe. Well. You've been nicking plants again from people's gardens, Gail. Shame on you. I've never done anything like that, David. Don't be so immature. A bit of grave robbing, then. It was a gift, if you must know. No guesses who from. From Michael. It's got a Latin name. Probably Latin for nicked. <laughs> oh, this is so cosy. The Brothers Grimm settling down to hatch their next plan to scare people. You know, it used to upset me when you two didn't get on, but seeing you so pally terrifies me. Yeah, well, I'd be more scared of that lame excuse for a man, you fancy. Michael is completely inoffensive. Yeah, well, he offends me. Do you know? I don't give that for what you think. And I'll tell you something else. There's no wonder Leanne won't come back to you. I mean, after the way you've been behaving, I mean, at least Cal's... Oh, been... yeah, cos he's so nice. There's nothing wrong with being nice. Oh, says so the woman who's obsessed with an ex-con. Oh, well, at least he brings her plants with fancy foreign names. Probably marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, Mum. It's called Dainty Dame, and I'm taking it up to bed. 
deserves a second chance, Annie. So you keep saying, but what if he's a wrong un? I mean, you're the one that had a child with Tony. I think it's a bit late to do this whole coy damsel thing, don't you? Anyway, just let it go. Morning. Very nice. Morning. Morning. Mm. Oh, but Dot, raring to go. And um, listen, Steve. Uh, sorry, do I call you Steve or Mr. McDonald? Steve. Yeah, well, anyway, I, I really just wanted you to know, uh, thanks again. I really do appreciate you giving me a chance. Well, just don't mess up. I'll in here. We'll uh, show you the ropes. You know, it's funny. I thought those websites where you go looking for men in uniform were full of <laughs> doctors and firefighters. It's just your luck, Gail. If you must know. Oh, 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 no, no. You said, yeah, you met with Bingo. Mm. No, no, you said, yeah, you met with Bingo. Mm. Good luck. Yeah. Try and enjoy yourself. Don't worry. He will. I don't know how many more times you want to. You're supposed to send those out to other folk, you know. I'll have a word with Eileen. Oh, Eileen, is it? I got you something. Me? You shouldn't have. To replace the one Max broke. But you've only done one shift. I use some of my inheritance. Inheritance? From whom? A distant relative. I can't accept this. It's too much. Rubbish! After what you've done for me. And anyway, I want to show David and Kylie that this is not just a one-way street and I'm no parasite. Never mind, David and Kylie. I know you're not a parasite. Oh, Gail, please. Let me do this. Please. All right. No, but I'm sorry. Wow. Um, nothing. Let's just say there's a nice surprise waiting for you when you get in. No, not that. Hey, David, could you just give yeah. me... It, yeah. It's right. just a bit too I'll see you in a bit. ...for Bye. one person to... Wow! Yeah. Mum! you imagine little Maxie's face when he sees this? Get that in. Yeah? How much was it? Where'd you get it? Uh, about £200, apparently. Apparently? Yeah, it, it, it was a gift from Michael. David! Mum, are you genuinely stupid or is it just an act? He's been working a day. I know that. He inherited some money. Oh, what? Like, Lewis inherited your savings? Mum, the guy's a thief, all right? He's a loser. And I bet this telly's as hot as a vindaloo. You don't know that! Yeah, I do. <laughs> oh, right, so she did it. Well, I know you don't want to hear it, but... No, you're right. I don't. My gran used to say, if you can't think of saying anything nice about somebody, say nothing. Suit yourself. It's dead convenient, though, don't you think? This whole inheritance business. I mean, who's supposed to have died? I don't believe it. You're just swallowing whatever he says, aren't you? Wholesale. Just because you never think of doing no nice for anybody. It's not true. All right. Even if it were, that's besides the point. Fact is, I've known enough lies and thieves to recognise one when I see one. You can't believe anything this guy tells you, Mum. And if you do, well, you're a bigger mug than I thought you were. And you'll regret it. Big time. I think I've This been... colours are so much brighter than the last one. No, you're all right. Frightened you'll get contaminated. You'll want to save those jokes of yours for when you're at the police station. Drop it, David. How much did he say it was? 200. 449. Same make, same model, same size, and that's the cheapest one on the net. Well, maybe... Oh, Mother, will you just wake up? <laughs> Knocked off. I bet he's got a lock-up stash full of gear. I have said I will ask. Yeah, well, will you get a move on? You know, if the police rumble him and then come knocking here, you know it's an offence to receive stolen goods. Will you stop going on? I'm seeing him this dinner time. Yeah. Like he's going to tell you the truth. What else can I do? All right. Max, go off to school, OK? Fine. What's up here? Tickets to Barbados. For tomorrow? When did you get these? I booked them online last night. What about Max? We said we'd wait until he broke up. Well, I want to go now and I'm not missing out on this grand opening. But we agreed. Max won't get in trouble from school and we did... 
We'd have time to deal with Robert Rodwell. Oh, yeah, like he's going to disappear. We got rid of him before. We're never going to get away if we keep worrying about him. But what about Max? <sighs> I am not letting some stupid school rules hold us to ransom. Kylie, they don't have rules there for nothing. He's really falling behind in class, and this could really set him back. Then there's me gran. We can't just give her 24 hours notice. Your gran and Maria will be absolutely fine. You're so out of order, do you know that? Look, me and the kids are going whatever. You can make your own mind up what you want to do. So to what do I owe the pleasure? Oh, well, I just thought I'd pop in and see you. Me or the TV? I expect David's told you about that and all. Yes, he did say something. Do you know, girl, I have to say I'm really, really worried. I'm 56 years of age, ma'am. I think I'm quite capable of looking after myself. I know all that. You have to admit, it is a bit dodgy. I mean, burglar comes out of prison with no money and then suddenly he mysteriously inherits some. Which is why I'm going to ask him about it. Oh. Well, he's not likely to tell you if it's stolen, is it? So it's up to me to work out whether he's telling the truth. And if he's a very good liar? I don't think he is. Oh. I mean, he's already told me loads of stuff that most people are keep shtum about. One of the things I like about him. And uh, what if that is part of his plan to lure you, huh? To get his hands on all the millions I've got stashed on. Oh, girl, come on. Everybody's got so much worth stealing. Like I said, I shall ask him, and if I don't like the answer, then that's an end to it. Well, I think you should give him his marching orders, whatever he says. And I think you should mind your own business. Oh! We've been busy. I've forgotten what normality feels like. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Thanks again for streetcars. I'm really enjoying it. Good. Eileen's a character, isn't she? That's one way of describing her, yeah. We're getting on quite well, actually. And some of the punters who ring up. I had this bloke this morning. He said, how do I get squirrels out of the loft? I said, red or grey, cos one of them's endangered. <laughs> Everything all right? There's, um, there's something I need to ask you. Something bad, from the sounds of it. Let's be having it, then. The television you gave me. Yeah. Did you buy it? Or did you steal it? One minute you had no money, the next you're buying televisions. I told you. My auntie died and she left me some money. I see. You don't believe that either? Well, you must admit it sounds slightly convenient. I suppose it does when you've got a criminal record for burglary. I want to believe you. I can't win, though, can I? I mean, if I say that I stole it, then that's the end of our friendship. And if I say that I didn't steal it, then you won't believe me, and that's the end as well. You could try me. I did not steal that television. So why did you say it cost 200 So why did you say it cost 200 pounds when it cost twice as much as that? What did you do? Go online? Are you that suspicious of me? Well, it was David, actually. Oh, yeah, of course, my number one fan. That explains everything. You still haven't said why. <sighs> I didn't want you to think that I'd gone over the top. I'd come on strong before. I didn't want to spoil everything. Oh, what's the point? Where are you going? Well, you don't believe a word I say. And even if you did, the rest of your family are out gunning for me anyway. I give up. Max, can you turn it down? Max. Look, don't go on your favourite. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Actually, put the other channel on. You were enjoying that. No, I wasn't. Aw, I hate you. Good. Well, did you ask him? Yes. And? He said he bought it. Yeah, well, obviously, he's going to say that. Did you ask him why he lied about the price? He didn't want me to think he'd gone over the top. Is that the best he could come up with? I think he was telling the truth. You're so naive, Mum. Anyway, he needn't worry. 
He was so angry I didn't trust him, he walked out. Yeah, because he knew you had him banged to rights. <sighs> feel awful now. So does that mean it's all off between you two, then? There was never anything on. Come on, then. Just walked off. He must have somewhere to hide. He walked off because I upset him. Oh, Gail, yeah. oh, come on. That's the oldest trick in the book, Ralph. Look, you've got your way. It's over. Now, can we talk about something else? Oh, fine. Yeah, absolutely fine by me. <sighs> How's Nick getting on? I haven't seen him today. I mean, all this shouting at people and being nasty to customers, honestly, I'm worried he's regressing. I think you could be right. Mm. I hope these fit him. Mm, he's upstairs having a sulk him. Mm, like you, by the looks of it. So are you coming or what? You shouldn't have done it, you know that. Are you coming? Well, I ain't got much choice, have yes. I? <laughs> Just don't do anything like that again, please. I won't, I promise. Just think, this time tomorrow it'll be swordfish and pina coladas instead of egg and chips with tea. Yeah, on beach. <laughs> oh, so you've perked up about this holiday then? Well, if you can't beat them, Gran. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's you. Can I come in? Well, I've got all my family here. Good, because they need to hear this too. What do you want? Sorry if I'm interrupting. Sorry. I've come to prove that I'm not a liar. Well, you'll have a job on. Let's try, shall we? Receipt for the television. The date and model number. Ah, just the cash that you nicked then, was it? And a letter from my aunt's solicitor confirming my share Eight hundred and thirty-six pounds. Well, why didn't you show me this before? I thought we had some of that stuff called trust going on between us. How wrong can you be? How are you feeling? Anyway, okay. Okay. I won't keep you any longer. I'm really sorry, Michael. I should have trusted you. Yes. I felt terrible all afternoon. Can I take you for a drink tomorrow? That'll make it right, will it? Please. It's important to me. Okay. If you mean it. I'll call you later. So, see you tomorrow. Yeah, I look forward to it. Have you completely flipped? Don't you dare take that tone with me. No, you just snogged Oh, don't, don't be ridiculous. It might not have been a snog, but you crossed the line there, Gail. You should be apologising to him rather than making remarks like that after all you've said about We've got good reason to worry. And you were wrong. I mean, why did I ever listen to you in the first place? Now, hang on. Does this mean you're going to be getting it on with him while we're away? What I do is none of your business. Well, will you? I don't know what will happen. But if something does come of it, you and Kylie wrote that letter, so you'll only have yourselves to blame. How many bags you got? Just these two. And that one. And that one as well. You'll never get all those in your car. Yeah, I borrowed Grand's. Can I take my football? No, there are footballs there. I want mine. Well, we haven't got the space. Can I take my football boots? No, you've got your trainers. But I want my boots. Well, you won't need them because it's beach football, isn't it? So you can play in your bare feet. Have you got the passports? Yes. And I've got the tickets. I've got the money as well. Are you OK? I'm OK. You and Leanne? I'm OK. Have you packed my T-shirt? Is that the blue one? Yeah. yeah. Carly, what's the name of the hotel? Uh, the Ocean Landings. What, Ocean Landings? Is that it? It's on the print out. Mm. I worry about you. I worry about you too. What's the currency in Barbados? Uh, the Barbados dollar, but they take American dollars as well. Yeah, I've got travellers' checks too. Have you weighed those? Because if they're over, they'll charge you. No, I'd be right. Have you checked your passports? Yes. It's not the first time I've been on a plane, you know. Are they in date? <gasps> David. Mind keep an eye on Mum, won't you, while we're away? I will. And if he shows his face again. What? Thump him? Well, yeah, if you need to. Right. I'll spy her every chance I get. I've had a word with Gran as well. Yeah, okay. We're working shifts. Look, I'm serious, all right? Her track record with blokes. Yeah, it's about as good as mine with women. Ooh, I am gonna miss you so much. <sighs> yeah, I'll take her. 
Um, are we all going to get in? Yeah, but right, Max, in the back. I want to sit in the front. In the back? Why can't I sit in the front? You could drive if you like. Can I? No, in the back. Come here. Be careful. Try not to burn the house down. <laughs> Do your best. And no wild parties. Has it? I'm serious. I've got people keeping an eye on you. Spies? Yeah, I don't trust you. David, will you come on? Bye, Gail. Bye. Come on. Spies? Yeah, I don't trust you. David, will you come on? Bye, Gail. Bye. Come on, let's go. Have a lovely time. Be good. Still on for tonight. Look, I just have anybody that think they were going on around the world cruise. <laughs> anyway, thanks for coming. Thought you might still be angry with me. If I was you, I'd have thought the exact same thing. Where did he get the money for that big telly? I'm, I'm sorry. I should have been honest with you straight away. I should have trusted you. Well, I don't deserve your trust, not yet. But I do want to earn it. Well, this is a start. <laughs> and it's good that you don't bear grudges. Oh, life's too short. Eileen? Gail? How's Todd? He's fine. Really? Oh, I thought he had a fight with his boyfriend. Can I just give you a little bit of advice? Er, uh, yeah? Run to the hills. Run as fast as you can and don't look back. Excuse me? I mean, I know you're familiar with the darker sides of life, but any man who spends time with Gail, well, they usually end up dead. That is not true. <gasps> oh, Richard Hillman, Joe McIntyre. And I'd hate to imagine the bodies that are buried under that. Bed. You take that. Oh, please, Gail, it, it's OK. Run, laddie, run. <laughs> she can talk. Her family are in disaster zone. Lazy, selfish, mean. We have history, me and her. Really bad history. So I see. I'm sorry. I shouldn't let her get to me. It's okay. I've yeah. had a complicated history with men. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know whether I've just been un unlucky or whether I'm cursed. Frankly, your past is none of my business. You don't wonder, though. Wonder what? Well, do I give out the wrong signals? Is it my fault? Press the reset button. Sorry? When my telly box thing goes on the blink, the manual says, press the reset button, wait for a minute, and then bingo, everything's fine again. <laughs> Don't think I've got a reset button. Oh, we all do. And that's what we should do. Forget the mistakes, clear the history, make a fresh start. Easy as that. Modern technology is a wonderful thing. <laughs> right. Uh, fresh start. <laughs> Feel better already. <laughs> Me too. Speaking of modern technology, I'd best get back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Shame. Good night. Good night. Oh, Trace. Oh, Lloyd. He's lovelorn. We've all been there. Mm. My mum's having uh, birthday drinks later at the bistro. You're, you're more than welcome. I doubt I'm welcome there at all, let alone for a family function. Hardly a function. Anyway, I, I owe you a drink for all of this. First rockery. Maybe another time. Thanks for thinking about me anyway. OK. Oh, uh, I meant to say, my friend Neville, totally legit, honest, well, he's put his back out of kilter hoisting a gas can. He, he works in catering. He's laid up for the summer, so he's asked me if I'll help out. Oh. Does that mean you're leaving streetcar? No, that's the great thing. Yeah, I can fit one in with the other. Oh. <laughs> well, catering's a wide field. <laughs> Any clues? If I gave everything away, I'd lose all my intrigue. <laughs> Not even a little hint? Not one. So, two jobs, a good friend, if you told me a couple of months back that my life would turn around like this, I'd, I'd have laughed in your face. You deserve it. And you'll have to come for a drink now. Double celebration. OK. You're on. I'll go find something nice to wear. Yeah. Oh, quick. <laughs> Get a fishing net. If we hurry, we can save it. <laughs> it's me, mate. I'm the one you want to knock out. 
No way. Call yourself a professional. That glass is empty. Right, well, I haven't popped the cork yet. <laughs> oh, perfect timing. Mm, perfect. Here we go. Happy birthday, me. Oh, hey, come on. Uh, Nick's just about to pop. Great, Nick. Oh, oh careful. Stand back. Right. Oh! <laughs> oh. Okay, now only the first bottle is on the house. Oh, Nick, that's very generous of you, sweetheart. After that, all the drinks are on me. Right, Michael. Happy birthday. Yes, thank you. Bringing you me on Grant's birthday, you can be so selfish. Until you have children, Nick, you don't know the meaning of the word. This is for you. Oh, no, I already got yours in the post this morning. And it's not from me. <laughs> right, right. With love, David, Kylie, Max and Lily. <laughs> what? Did you write that? <laughs> it's from David and Kylie. Oh, yeah, all the way from Barbados. Come on. It's very unlike them to be so thoughtful. <laughs> <laughs> I brought you this. It, it's nothing, really. Oh, oh, Monica. Well, well thank you. Ja Marigold. It's my absolute favourite. Really? My horticultural sixth sense has done me proud. Yes, either that or my daughter's had a word in your ear. <laughs> I never said a word. Oh. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, Gail tells me that you're working wonders on her front garden. God, I always capable of once he's got a bee in his bonus. Good on him. Don't get Sally started on that. Anybody would think that turned the place into a ball stool. Mm, sure your new boyfriend would explain the difference. He must have been inside a few. Ball stools, that is. Oh, Nick. It's fine. No, it isn't. Because they're big on libraries and prison, aren't they? I mean, I can't see them closing those down, can you? Your prisoners' rights and all that. Oh, come on. Not on my birthday, Nick. <laughs> Sorry. Nice flowers, by the way. Thank you. Whose hanging basket did you build for those from? You're embarrassing yourself. And you embarrass yourself on a weekly basis. I want you to know I'm going to build you the best rockery in Weatherfield. Thank you, Mike. Wet the build it up. She thinks she's gonna take that away from me. Oh, Nick, be fair. Fair? Fair. Fair's got nothing to do with this. Leanne, she's been to a solicitor's and she reckons she's due half the place. She's due nothing. You must have known changing the name wouldn't make any difference. <laughs> you think she's right? Uh, no. No. Thank you. But she wasn't just an employee, was she? Uh, she was a good manager as it goes. Was she? Well, yeah, I mean. No, she... no, no, she did what I told her. Well, she did sort out the new ordering system. Yeah, and the new menus. Yeah, and she found all those new suppliers. Yeah, and... And nothing! Nothing! She's just a glorified waitress. Oh, I see it now. She gets hold of this place, moves her boyfriend in, who she loves so much, apparently. You don't know that? I do. Because she told him in front of me. Oh, sweetheart. She's getting hold of this place over my dead body. Uh, Nick, don't do anything you'll regret. Oh, there's plenty I regret already. No, Nick, what I mean oh. is... I'm not ringing Leanne, Mum. I'm ringing my solicitor. If he thinks I could just roll up... So what happens now? Solicitor says we should go to mediation. Well, I'm sure he knows what he's talking about. I can't. And to be honest, Nick, you know, it doesn't seem like you have much of a choice if... if he reckons that... I do that and she wins. Nick, if you don't, she wins anyway. Not only that, she ruins you in the process. Hiya. Whoa! Where's the fire? Ah, sorry, miles away. Yeah, looks like it. Yeah, I'm busy. You know how it is. Uh, yeah, um, before you go, um, this meeting you're having tonight with Leanne and the... Uh, the uh, mediator? <laughs> mediator, yeah. Sounds like a superhero, doesn't it, mediator? Mm, um... Yeah, um, I just want to say, will you just... Try and stay positive and keep an open mind. Oh, you got any other cliches? You know, always look at the bright side. The glass is always half full. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, hello, Michael. Um, yeah. Uh, is 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 there a problem? Okay, I. Let me guess. I want you to come and bail him out. That's not funny. And please don't talk about him like that. Michael's a friend. You're a friend? Get a dog. And remember those deep...
You know me mate? The one with the catering business I told you I was helping with his job? Yes. This is it. Oh, sorry. Keeps going off. Must be a fault with the wiring. Well, I'm sure Tyrone can help you with that. It doesn't need a mechanic. It needs a priest. <laughs> it's not that bad. Oh, come on. If you saw this driving up the road, would you stop me and buy one? Can't believe me, mate. Let it get in that state. Well, we'll just have to make the best of it. You're right. I'll get the petrol, you get the matches. <laughs> <laughs> or how about we get a bucket of hot soapy water, some sponges, hose pipe, give it a good clean and see what it looks like then? I wasn't expecting you to help me fix it up. Besides, aren't you working? Day off. And I'm not doing this out of the goodness of my heart, you know. I expect a cornetto. <laughs> Just one. <laughs> <laughs> Just one. <laughs> You take care well, now. What else? The last thing I needed more stuff cluttering it up. We do the honours then. See what's underneath all the dirt and the suds. Well, go on then. It's not working. You sure you turn the water on? Oh, let me have it. Well, if that's what you want. <laughs> down an ice cream van. It's actually my van, so it's sort of my fault. Well, well, next time, could you watch where you're pointing your hose, if you don't mind? Come on. <laughs> I was thinking, when we finished up here, do you fancy taking it for a spin? How can I refuse an invitation like that? <laughs> <laughs> right, there you go. Well, that was a first. I've never ridden shotgun in an ice cream van before. <laughs> so what next? Buy some stock, practice me 99s and hit the road for real, I suppose. You know something? I've got a good feeling about this. Yeah, me too. So this is why you haven't been answering your phone. Yeah, not that it's any of your business. No, 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 that's my business over there and we've been having a nightmare. Not that you seem to care. And I was supposed to be having a day off. Oh, so you'd rather help this loser than help your own son? If you were any sort of son, you wouldn't talk to her like that. After the day I've had, I'd stay out of this if I were you. Well, I'm not, and I won't, because your mum is a kind, compassionate, caring woman, and I won't have you upsetting her. <laughs> oh, right. And what are you going to do about it? That's enough, Nick. Come on. I'm waiting. No. Please, Michael. Not until he apologises to you. This isn't helping. <laughs> Mum's right. Brave doesn't suit you. Sorry to interrupt. What is it? The card machine's playing up. There's people waiting to leave. Nick, come on, you're gonna have to come with... OK. This isn't finished. Talk some sense into him. Try my best. What are you thinking? It, it's nothing. Tell me. Well, it just occurred to me, if somebody had told me a couple of months back that, that you and I'd be sitting here together like this, well, I'd have laughed in their face. It is a bit of a turn-up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. Once a lousy thief, always a lousy thief. Well, I'll drink to that. <laughs> so, what's your favourite ice cream? Sorry? Your favourite flavour. I hadn't really given it much thought. Well, don't you think you're better? You're going to be selling the stuff soon. Good point. Well, in that case, I suppose it would have to be rum and raisin. Rum and raisin? Mm-hmm. Well, that makes sense. You look the rum and raisin type. Oh, there's a type. Well, isn't it for everything? <laughs> What's your type? Uh, uh, ice cream, I meant. Well, I've always been partial to a bit of Tutti Frutti. But if you were putting me on the spot, I'd have to just say plain old vanilla. Vanilla, eh? Mm. <laughs> well, I'm very traditional at heart. Some would say even boring. But I do enjoy a 99. The we'll have, count them, 
two flakes. <laughs> <laughs> you know how to spoil a girl. I said I don't need cover. Getting a bit chilly. Do you want to go back in the house? No, no, you're okay. I know you like being outside. No, don't be daft. You'll catch your death. I can think of worse ways to go. Thank you. It's me who ought to thank you. Today's been wonderful. Well, it's not over yet, I hope. Mm. On the meter, remember. Plus, I'd rather not outstay my welcome. Michael, you are here because I want you here. And not David and Nick or anybody else for that matter is going to tell me different. Are we clear? That's Crystal. Another five minutes, then, maybe. Make it ten. <laughs> Feeling any warmer? Some. Only I, I could fetch you a blanket or something. Or you could put your arm around me. <laughs> what? I won't bite. <laughs> Maybe I Better? Much. You can probably tell I'm I'm not much good at this romantic lack. Well, I'm very pleased to hear. And I, I, I just wanted you to know that this, it, being with you, well, it, it, it's a blessing be, beyond my imagination. You don't have to. I am so happy that you... Mum? Mum? Sorting out flaming music. What the? Oh my goodness. Someone's had a pop at me van. Guys, are right. Butlins, let's just say I had one very pushy mum. Mm. Snap. Afternoon. Mum. So, did you have a good time last night? Mm, last night? Uh, well, it's a quiet one. Uh, why do you ask? Might I remind you that I'm your mother? Hmm. And the award for stating the obvious goes to. So I know exactly when you're lying. Awkward. So I will ask you again. Did you have a good time last night? Oh, <laughs> uh, this is about the ice cream van, isn't it? Michael's, yes. The one you vandalised. Well, Nick, I've got to hand it to you. Knock spots of mine, journey from the block. <laughs> Very sad, David. I mean, I'd expect that kind of childishness from David, but you, you're supposed to be a grown-up. I saw you, you know. Saw me what, when? In the garden, kissing him. Hey, Who? Well, so you've been spying on me. We confirmed everything. Everything we've been saying about him. This isn't about me and Michael. This is about you and Leanne. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I mean, heaven help her if she had an ice cream van. <laughs> and what are you laughing at? No, sorry. Michael is paying for your personal issues, and that's not right. Michael is taking you for a fool, and that's not the right. The only fool round here is the one who chucked my rockery through his window. Where's this bus? It's got to that stage, hasn't it? Chucking rocks through windows, sadly, yes. <sighs> Look, I know what you're going to say, Gail. Said the same thing about Lewis. What do you mean? Michael is a changed man. It's a bit below the belt. Listen, isn't it just a question of history repeating itself? Come on. Look, I know 
I've not got a very good track record oh. when men are concerned. <laughs> Tell me about it, for heaven's sake. You can forget Tinker Taylor's soldier spy. Why don't you try con man, serial killer and death faker? It's up to me and no one else who I see. Yeah, OK. So you're not prepared to listen to anybody that's close to you, then? Not when it includes random acts of violence. Of violence, no. Well, the only weapon I've got is the sharp end of my tongue. So, your mum has asked... Right. Well, as head of the family, which I am, I say it's my responsibility to get this mess sorted once and for all. Oh, for goodness sake, why don't you just say sorry and then we may be able to get somewhere? What happens if I don't want to get anywhere? What happens if I quite like where I am? And where exactly is that, Nick? Hmm? Caught between a rock and a hard place, or maybe on cloud nine? Because you don't look that happy to me, sweetheart. All right, all right. I'll pay for the damage. Oh, well, that's a start, isn't it? Not Ooh. exactly bending over backwards to apologise, though, is he? I can accept that. And as you've given me that offer... <laughs> oh, oh, don't milk it. I'll agree not to go to the police. That's very... Very what? Ironic? A convicted criminal taking the moral high ground, isn't it, just? You know what I reckon? Oh, I thought I was covering you so well. Think I'm bad for your mum and that? I find people who state the obvious rather tedious. Call me old-fashioned. But you see, that's what I am. Old-fashioned. Mm. Like an oldie worldy burglar with his swag bag. But just think about this. I've lost my job, put up with your hostility, David's hostility, had my van vandalised, and yet, I'm still here. Still trying to make things work. Trying to make things work with your kind, charitable mum. Now, what does that tell you? Persistency is not next to godliness. Sorry, Gran. I'm out. Can't say I didn't try. As a moment. I can see where you get your <laughs> strength from. I suppose she means well. <laughs> Michael, there's some... Um, something I need to say. Sounds ominous. It is a bit. I mean, I was so touched by what you said to Nick about me. And so often I feel I'm saying the wrong thing, doing the wrong thing, especially when my kids are concerned. And the only way my daughter can be happy is to live in another country. I'm sure she misses you like mad. This isn't about me. It's about you. I brought trouble to your door. They're just protecting you. I can understand that, really. But you've so much to fight for. I feel I'm holding you back. No, that, that's not true. You're the only person who believed in me. You did bring trouble to me door when you broke in. I know what you're going to say. And now we need to move on. You need to move on. And as long as you're with me, that's not going to happen. Is that what you want? Please don't ask me what I want. <sighs> you never put yourself first. I know what you need. And that's not going to happen as long as I'm in the picture. Well, I won't accept it. I'm afraid you're going to have to. But it's not what I want, and it's not what you want. <sighs> Michael, my family is a mess. My son's a mess. He's brain damaged. And... I'm feeling like I have to choose. Between me and him? I'm being forced into it. I take no enjoyment in it. And you've chosen him. Fair play to you. Family first. Wish I'd done that sometimes. I... I should go. But... Thank you. Thanks for everything. I'm sorry. I know. Hey, Gail, what are you wanting to eat? 
Where is he? Sir? So, you got your own way. Yeah, if you uh, just give me a minute. What you wanted from day one. Yeah, if you just let me finish up here. Me and Michael split up. Okay, well, you're just got together. I ended it for you. I'm glad you finally seen the sense. Get your hands on me. Trotty didn't make a scene. The only person you're embarrassing is yourself. Says the local vandal. Yeah, it's happened to me one day. For what? Saving you another massive torment at the hands of an unsuitable man. You can be so inappropriate. The only thing you've saved me from is the chance of a little happiness. So you age yourself. You have to bring everybody down to your level, don't you? You're unhappy, so everybody else has to be unhappy. It's not true. So now we're both miserable. Enjoy your meal. I think I'll have a glass of wine. Timeless. Until she gets changed. Making the place look unattractive, am I? Blot on the landscape. Shattered window in the ice cream thing. Am I giving it to you? Yes. No, not while you're in your tab on. He likes to have a say in what I wear. Who I speak to, who my friends are. Come on. I did you a favour. Can you have the wine list, please? No. Never mind, love. Put it back. I love housewife. Hi. No, David and Kylie yet. Just popped over to yours to see how their holiday went. Yes, they've landed. Oh. He texted. Lloyd's on his way to pick them up. Now, is she all right in what she's wearing? Why am I wrong with her? Nothing. Take her with you, will you? Oh, you need to sort this, the two of you. Fancy a glass of summer? No. Got a cut and blow dry in ten minutes. Oh, sit down. Live dangerously. Stop siding with me. I am not. And I will be living dangerously if I cut Mrs Chaplin's ear off. She'll sue me for every penny I've got. Just let me know as soon as David gets here, please. And Gail... Ooh, one word in his defence, ma'am. It needs sorting, right? That's all. House White. Why don't you give Stalker, me... Stalker, just come back to me, yeah? If Mrs Wesel is late for a shoropodist, she... Uh, gotta go. Sorry. Work. You haven't come here to talk taxis, have you? Well, actually, I... Oh, you did. Yeah, of course you have. Sorry, about... You're here about David and Kylie. Well, they should have been back ages ago. And look, I, I don't... I mean, I don't... Well, I'm... I'm, I'm not avoiding it. No, no, tr truly. I, I've thought a lot about what you said, and you're right. You've got to put family first. Some aren't meant to be. I'll, I'll, I'll just try Lloyd again. Face to Lloyd. What, what's going on, mate? Please. I'm on the road in two minutes, and I'm leaving these completely incompetent parents and their devil child to walk home. Two hours getting them in the flame and... It sounds like he's, um... He, he won't be long now. Devil child? Lloyd, uh, he, he gets grumpy. W when he's hungry, he, he's probably missed his dinner. Well, so have mine, so I'd better go and make him something. I do not appreciate my grandchild being called a devil child. Uh, I'm sure it's high spirits, jet lag, the numbers on the plane. Or Lloyd is completely out of order. Yeah, that. But I'll, I'll have a word. Are you on your own? No, Kylie and Lily, they're having a kip and Max has burnt himself out finally. We've just seen Norris. Oh, well, there's a bloke who were never a kid. Well, uh, Max will never make an adult if Norris gets hold of it. Did he really squirt that water pistol at her? Water pistol? Have you seen that thing? Our shower chucks out less. Hope you had a word with Max. You know, no, that hadn't occurred to me. What would I do without you? Don't be sarky, David. Who's oh, that from the school? You always just wander into other people's houses and just read the post. David. Go on then, read it. Yes. It is from the school and they want to charge us 150 quid for taking him out of school on holiday. 
Carly's fuming and she wants to know Dobbed us in. Well, I hope that holiday was worth it. The school could have paid us 150 quid and it wouldn't have been worth it. Hey, you can't just say that and wander off. Now, did something happen while you were away? No. Well, it must have done. No, it didn't. It was all good. Well, it obviously wasn't, David. No, but it should have been. But if you won't tell us, we can't help. Well, I, I don't know. I mean, it's Max. It always is. It's... it's not normal. What isn't? I don't know, but... I think there's something wrong with him. And I mean, like, properly. Something... not normal. I mean, it was a nightmare from the get-go. We didn't get a minute, not a minute. Most boys are tearaways. It's in their DNA. Yes, come on. Being on holiday, be as high as a kite. Grant, it was like a wrecking ball. Turbocharged. I, I mean, the flight was a nightmare. And, of course, there's no naughty step, is there, when you're at 30,000 feet? Well, you and Kylie are sleep-deprived, remember, because of Lily. I, everything seems worse when you're tired. Yes, of course it does. I mean, you should see your mother. She's a right old grump if she hasn't had her eight hours. Come on, make-up bag, make-up bag. All I see is a... Make-up bag, make-up bag. All I see is a happy, healthy ball of energy. I think you need to book yourself an eye test. What does Kylie think? As little as possible. She's in denial. I mean, she, she just thinks he's being a kid. Well, you have to sit her down and have the conversation. I don't know how worried you are. One oh, minute sleep. <sighs> just try to get Max off that games console, though. Um, why? Because it's bad for his eyes. Yeah, but the silence is brilliant for his lug holes. Well, I don't want him to be one of them kids that spends all his time staring at a flipping screen. Or would you rather he's climbing the walls? Eh, yeah, knocking over cabinets. Literally. You ready, ma'am? Yeah, almost. Mm -hmm. Are you two going out? Yeah. Is that all right, or do I have to get Nick's permission? Oh, give it a rest, girl, please. We well, don't matter, does it? I mean, I'm knackered. I suppose. I thought we'd try that new wine bar on Arkwright Street. Mmm, did you now? I don't think Nicholas will be too chuffed. We've got a coupon, two free cocktails. No, no, I need to rub our noses in it. Oh, come on, you've just had weeks in the sun, lady. Our need is far greater than yours. Oh, yeah, and we really kicked back, didn't we, Kyles? Floating around on us lilos with us bottles of beer. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. Bye-bye. Laters. You can't go out in your slippers. Why? Well, it might rain or uh, there might be glass on the pavement. Walk round it. And what if a policeman sees you? He might put you in jail. He'll probably throw away the key. Kylie, his head's full of enough rubbish as it is. Great, thank you. Thanks, bye. Yes, we're in. Ten past five with Dr Gaddas, but we've got to take him with us. It's good they could fit you in. Ugh, it'll be a waste of time. <gasps> Max! Oh, what? No, Max! your head's full of rubbish. Right, where's that policeman? Sorry. I just washed it. Well, it'll brush out. You'll be fine. It'll be OK. <laughs> and will the doctor have a tablet for that? I don't think so. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Well, what's the alternative? We just let him carry on like this. I mean, all we can do is try. Yeah. Come on, big girl. <sighs> Max, you get down here now and apologise. Like any normal child. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop it. <laughs> there have been a few issues at school and at home. The airport room. Max gets... Overexcited. Well, they don't want him labelled, you know, give a dog a bad name. And hang him. Well, you know how that goes, of course. We've not come in for a drink. Who would like to be beside the seaside? I remember thinking that was very odd in the middle of Weatherfield. <laughs> I was thinking of changing it to Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. I've always liked that. Well, there's nothing to say. You couldn't have several tunes for different occasions. Good point. Well made. You could have Christmas carols at Christmas. I could. Or happy birthday if you knew, say, it was... I could. Or happy birthday if you knew, say, it was Max's birthday. I could hire myself out for children's parties. <laughs> You'd make a fortune. <laughs> Gail, you are a genius. Well, I, I wouldn't go that far, Michael. Michael. Seven. Oh, I've got time for a half. Well, the traffic might be bad. There's been an accident on the ring road. How do you know that? 
because we had the radio on in the salon. <laughs> well, it'll be clear by now. No, your mum's right. Best not be late. And I've got a ready meal waiting. It's, um, it's been a pleasure chatting with you, Gail. Always is. Bye-bye, Michael. Oh, I'll have another one, though. Go on. That was uncalled for. He's got a curfew. You wanted him to go. Well, only because you were throwing yourself at him. He works on the street. There's no reason not to be civil. Yes, well, we're civil, and then the simpering. I was not simpering. Oh. I wouldn't go that far, Michael. <laughs> So it's agreed. I've been so tied up with Lily, I've been neglecting him. There is no way that kid is neglected. He's got you, me, my mum, my gran, our Nick. I mean, he's got more family around him than most kids. There's that stuff I've been feeding him. Well, he eats the same stuff as every other kid, I know. So why has he got this and not them, eh? No, he shouldn't park them. Yeah, they look so ridiculous. Well, what happened? What did the doctor say? They think he's got ADHD. Well, that explains a lot. Oh, no. Well, if you ask me, that is just a fancy name for being naughty. That's not true, Graham. David, these days it's depression if you're just a bit sad, or it's that dyslexia if you can't spell. Max is ill. <sighs> they don't know that for definite. I mean, it's still to be assessed. Well, that's all right. At least it's nothing serious. How can you say it's nothing serious? He's got a mental disorder. But just a mild one. And the fact is, I gave it to him. Kylie. Oh, it's obvious, isn't it? Look at me. It's no wonder he's messed up. Kylie! Oh, poor loves. Just a lot of fuss about nothing, actually. Now, I meant what I said about that ice cream van girl. Really? Hey. Don't want it. It's good for you. Mm. And delicious. Why can't we have proper cereal? Because we're all trying to be healthy. Mm, yum, yum, yum. Oh! <gasps> Don't worry. I'll get it. Go and brush your teeth. No! I've got a client at nine. I can't be late. Well, you go. I'll get it. No, I've not finished his lunch box. Get it. No, I've not finished his lunch box yet. It's the holidays. We'll go to the cafe. No, I'm watching everything he eats. He's not allowed sweets, cakes or chips. I can't make the boy live on salads. If that's what it takes to make him well. But he doesn't understand that. Then he's going to have to learn. But if you knew David's diet was causing epileptic fits, wouldn't you change it? Give him one of these vitamin pills. Ah. Come on, Max. We're nearly home. I don't want to go home. No, you don't want to go to the Red Wreck either, so what do you want to do? Oh, Gail, there's a children's story session at the cafe later. Oh. Do you like stories, young man? No. Uh, don't be rude. I'll see what Kylie thinks. Max, come back here. Whoa. Sorry. It's OK. What's up with you? We've got auntie pants. Hello. Oh. Oh. Terror, isn't he? And she's no better. <laughs> oh. It's Michael. Can I have an ice cream? Oh, I don't know. Please. Yes, sir. What can I get you? Nine can I please? Two flakes. Uh, I think I've only got the one, but you can have it. Please, can I have a cornetto? Yeah. And a tub of vanilla. Two spoons. <laughs> but did you go to break? The only time I'd shut up was when she got the rum and raisin out. <laughs> mm. My son was the same. He was a nightmare, baby. Without soft scoop raspberry ripple, he'd probably have been taken into care. <laughs> what do you think you're doing after everything I've said? It's only an ice cream. Stop selling your poison to my kids. You can't deprive kids of all their treats. I can if it's killing them. Max, come on now, we're going home. And you, if I catch you around my kids again, I want to call the police. Ooh. <laughs> oh, don't tell me. It's a double espresso for Max. You want to send him into orbit? Gail's just topping me flask up with coffee. Where is he? In the back garden, annoying the neighbours. Did they not teach you anything about nutrition before they let you loose on children? Well, to be fair, you've only just found... ...loose on children. Well, to be fair, you've only just found out about this yourself. But you need a licence to sell booze and fags. Why should sweets and ice cream be any different? Don't think that bill will be going through Parliament any minute soon. <laughs> Hilarious, is it? You're not the one who's going to be up all night with him. It won't happen again. 
Look, unless a parent tells him that a child has a problem, how is he supposed to know? I also know it's my fault. No, I've already admitted blame. I can't be with him 24-7. Nor can anyone in charge of a child, which is why you're being unreasonable. I'll get him his coffee and get him out of here. Let me take you out for lunch tomorrow. My treat. <laughs> is that wise? Why shouldn't it be? Well, after all that's happened, I'm the devil incarnate to the rest of your family. I'm not going to let them dictate how I spend my life anymore. Anyway, we're still friends, aren't we? Well, yeah, I hope so. So what harm can it do? <laughs> Come round tomorrow, about one. We'll decide what to do then. Right. You're on. Um, I'm sorry I've been such a pain. We all have bad days. It's worse now than when he was a baby getting him off. Well, I want you to know, whatever's wrong with him, you can count on my support. We don't know there is anything wrong with him yet. Well, indeed, no, but um, let's hope there isn't. If you mean what you said about being there for Max... I do. Would you mind him tomorrow? Just give me a little break. Um, no, I can't tomorrow, I'm afraid. Well, can't you change your shift? Well, it's not work. Uh, I've arranged to do something. Well, can you not do it another time? I can babysit tomorrow night, if you like. I'll see. So? Oh, brilliant. Let him run round like a lunatic, burn off some energy. Mum, can you come with us, just so you can keep an eye on Lilla? She won't. I've already asked her. Sorry. Got plans. Well, whatever it is, Kate, postpone it. I'm going out for lunch. With Michael. I wondered why you were tarting yourself up. Tarting doesn't come into it. Tarting doesn't come into it, thank you very much. I'm going smart casual. Well, what is it with you two? I thought you were all over. It's only lunch. Yeah, well, I know you. Next minute, you'll be dragging him down the aisle. <laughs> Sandwich and a cup of tea. I booked the day off work so I could give Kylie a rest. I thought you'd like to help out. Well, maybe I need a rest, too. Oh, I'll come. I'll have a kip in the ball pit. Oh, hey up, Gail. They're playing your song. <laughs> Dolmades, stuffed vine leaves, taramasalata, fish roe dip, prasa... prasa boo... Oh! <clears throat> Hold on. Get us a 99, will you, and don't stint on the raspberry sauce. Sorry, love. I'm not working at the moment. Well, why are you playing your tune, then? I like it. That's misleading, is that? Oi! I'll have a screwball, Beth, if you're buying. Since he's not working, bone idle beggar. You what? You can't play the music and then jib out on the ice cream. That's what I said. Should report you to trading standards. Hello, you. Hello, you. Oh, pass me <laughs> the sick bucket. I've done us a picnic, but it's OK. Well, I was supposed to be treating you. Oh, the pleasure of your company is a treat in itself. <laughs> you haven't got a picnic rug, have you? I mean, you can sit on my jacket no, by I've all means. No, I've got an old tartan one under the stairs somewhere. I haven't seen the light of day for you. <laughs> all right? It's a bit moth-eaten, but it'll do. My gran had one just like it. <laughs> Not been on a picnic for years. Hope you like Greek food. Well, uh, I sometimes make the odd moussaka, but uh, other than that... I'm... We're having a mezze. Enjoy your date. It's, it's not, not a, a date. date. Oh, if you say so. Oh, bog off, Eileen. You're only jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get going. Oh, you're a bit tight there. Do you want me to help you out a bit? Thanks. Can we have an ice cream? No, you had one yesterday. It's going to do well it. Back a bit. No. Left hand down. Oh, my God! Gail, are you all right? Sorry. Oh. My foot must have slipped on the pedal. But can you walk? No, I don't think so. It might be broken. Well, we better get you to A&E. Yeah, yeah, well, I'll take her. You'll probably kill her off. Oh, for goodness sake. You're a right smooth operator, you. I'm sorry. Oh, robbery not good enough for you. Gone for a bit of GBH this time. Could have just cancelled, you know. You didn't have to run her over. Mind you, don't blame you. I'd have done the same, given half the chance. Button it, Eileen. She's in pain. Oh, I'm just trying to lighten the mood. <sighs> I can't put any weight on it. Help me get her into the van. I'll do it. You've already got your hands oh, full. Let me do it. For goodness sake. 
Oh! Isn't a spectator sport, you know? Well, it should be. Beats the Olympics any day. We'll phone you from the hospital. Let you know how she's getting on. Sit here much longer. I'll be getting deep vein thrombosis. To try and do upstage me. <laughs> Never had a picnic in A&E before. I'll take you to all the best places. <laughs> this stuff vine leaves are very moorish. I know. Last thing I needed was another vice, food wise. Mm. I'm sorry, you know. I know. Should I go and have a word? No point. They're busy, short staff, and we're here for the duration. Oh, I'm so selfish. I'm sorry, I forgot about your curfew. It's fine. You've got a while yet. I could shove a tubular bandage on it and hope for the best. Not on your Nelly. We're staying put. You're very kind. But I'm going to give David a ring. I'm sure he'll be fine. Thank you, great dimwit. Judy, <coughs> you don't have to wait. David will be here any minute. I don't like to leave you. Oh, here he is. Yo, Mum. Fixed you up then? Uh, yeah, it's nothing serious. It's just twisted. I've got to keep it raised and put frozen peas on it every couple of hours. Oh, modern medicine then. Very high tech. Let me help you stand. Oh. Hey, guess what? There's what team outside? What? Yeah, balaclavas, some machine guns, a lot. I think that's you, that is. Breaking your curfew. Couldn't get you. David, you won't get into serious trouble, will you? I hope not. They're not going to like it, either. I mean, they gave him that ankle bracelet for a reason. What will they do to you? It'll be a wrap on the knuckles. I reckon they're going to lock you up again. Throw away the key this time. They can't do that. They can't send him back to prison. It'd be well within the rights, actually. I'd better love you and leave you. Bye. What's up? You worried Mr Softy's been carted off back to jail because he wasn't in bed by seven? Never forgive myself. Look. I know you're good at overlooking your fella's nuttier qualities, but this one's already burgled the house, and he's ran you over in his ice cream van. Take a hint, eh? It was an accident, as you very well know. Well, just make sure he doesn't try and make you sign any life insurance policy. Say what you like. Your silly little comments bounce right off me. It's a shame you didn't do the same off his little ice cream van. Letters. I can't go on like this. I really need. I brought croissants. Well, la di da. <laughs> we should let me know you were all right, though. I'm sorry. Once I got in, I realised I'd left my charger in the van, and after the ticking off I got for being late on my curfew, well, I didn't go out the door again to get it. Well, I'm just happy you didn't get into trouble. <laughs> How's the ankle? Well, I think my tap dancing days are over. Doctor said I just had to rest and take it easy. And to be honest, between the worry over Max and Nick, I'm happy to comply. So, what are your plans for today? To be your devoted servant day and night. Or at least until half past six. <laughs> <laughs> just think of me as your very own Parker, Lady Penelope. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of low life? Six So you haven't decided on any way, yeah? No. You know, I don't know how many times I've seen that film, but every time I hope she doesn't die at the end. <laughs> I'll get it. You know, I think I should exercise this foot a bit. It's going to sleep. Thank you. Oh, hi, Mum. Hi. Michael's been looking after me. Oh, it's very kind of you, Michael. Well, it's the least I could do. Yes, well, he did run her over. Mum. Oh, don't worry. I've not come to have a go. I've just been to see Nick. Oh? It's not in a good way. Actually, um, I need some bits and bobs for me and lasagna, so I'll, uh, I'll leave it to chat. Thanks, Michael. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Michael. What is it, Mum? Oh, it's everything, Gail. 
Do you know what? I really worry that it's all going too much for him. I had this beauty for a while. I'm, uh, I'm sure she'll get excited once it all sinks in. Poor Nick. I don't know what to do for the best. Mm. I'm not sure there's anything we can do. Except make sure he knows we're there for him. This is my fault. How's it your fault? Well, I knew he disapproved of Michael and I carried on the friendship, regardless of what he or David thought. Oh, for goodness sake, Anna, stop it. You can't put your life on hold just because Nick's going through a tough time. You've changed your tune. Well, yes, well... Happen I've realised... You're not the first woman to fall for a man her family disapprove of. And to be fair, he does seem a thoughtful, kind man for a burglar. Ex-burglar. <laughs> anyway, we're, we're just friends, ma'am. Oh, 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 yes, and I'm Michelle Obama. <laughs> That'll be oh, now. I wonder if I should call Nick, eh? Ask him round for his tea. Can't be much fun, sat in that flat all on his own. I'll leave you to it. You don't have to go, ma'am. Mm -hmm. See you tomorrow. You make sure you take good care of her, you. I will. Are those for me? For your mother, actually. Oh. Thought I might try and get round her, but she tore out of here before I got a chance to do any decent crawling. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's softening of her own account. Oh, good. Me and me mum are very close. She just wants what's best for me. And, to be honest, we've both had our share of... <sighs> good. Put these in some water for me. Yeah, uh, of course. It's just, um... Well, I want to... If I don't say this now, then I'm not sure I ever will. What is it? I've been working up the guts to say it all last night, even rehearsing in the mirror. I hope I haven't misread the signs, but this time I've spent with you recently, it's meant everything to me. I, I never thought... What, what I'm trying to say is... Oh, shut up and kiss me, Parker. If we alphabetise them by category, surely that's the one. Better make the most of you, then. Shouldn't you get that? I'm comfy here. Could be important. Mm, yes, it'll either be David wanting to know what time his tea's ready, or uh, Kylie wanting me to pick up Max from school because he's got some mail emergency. Or someone doing some daft survey. Exactly. <laughs> so we can all whistle. For once, go put me first. She thinks he's going off. Oh, I'm gonna get in. Thanks for today. It's been lovely. It certainly was. See you tomorrow. Can't wait. <laughs> Good evening. I just wanted to inquire about Nick. Nick? Oh, cover, so he needn't worry about work. Max! Will you get out from underneath my feet, please? Can I borrow my Lego? No, your tea's nearly ready. OK, I'll see you in a bit. Oh, where is it? Red Rack. I should have answered my phone earlier. I mean, he says he's been trying to ring. Well, what happened? Has he had a seizure? More of a funny turn, David said. And then Roy said he was having some kind of argument with Leanne. Well, I'm not anyone she'd be involved. It's probably her banging on about it that's caused it. No, you don't know that, can I, like? Yeah, but stress plays a part, doesn't it? He's living with a lot of stress. Would you think he's seen a doctor? No, he said he wanted to come straight back. But if he's had a seizure... It wasn't a seizure, I've told you. Funny turn, you said. All right, seizure, funny turn episode. I don't know, I wasn't there. He'll be back himself in a minute. You can ask him. Mum. Yeah. All right, come on now. Why don't I make you a nice brew? You've had a big shock. Excuse me, my lord. Max, will you just go and watch some telly? I want to bring my ties down. Uh, now, you come with me, Max, sweetheart. Right. No. Fine. Bring down whatever you want, just don't make a mess. Yay! 
How many years until he leaves home? Oh, come on, it's just a little lad. He'll soon grow out. Yeah, you it? never stop worrying about him, though, not till the day you die. Cheery thought, thank you. So, did he not go to hospital? No, David said he refused. Oh, he can't afford to ignore these things. I've got my Lego. Right, well, just remember to keep it on the coffee table, yeah? Ah. Next... Oh. Now I know why some animals eat their young. <sighs> No, I'm so Could pleased. Be pizza pie, that's amore. And I bet you've had nothing to eat all day. I had a big breakfast. Well, you're not leaving here until you've had some lasagna. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Some tea. You think you can manage it? You don't be sarky, David. Look, I want to see it. Shall I go? No, I'll go. <laughs> Still feel happier if you got checked out. Mum, it's Friday night. I mean, sitting for five hours with a load of vomiting drunks in A&E is not going to help me. Well, you can't be too careful, can you? I've got my regular appointment with Dr Oliver. I'd rather wait till then. Well, what if you have another episode in the meantime, Nick? Gran, look, will you lot just stop nagging at me? I'm seeing Dr Oliver. She's the expert. Well, at least Liam backing off about the divorce is something. Yeah, well, I can't see what good it's going to do when she still wants to divorce him. Oh, um... It's Michael. Do I need to take it? Mm. Why should I, Mum? Hello, Michael. No, s sorry, I couldn't pick up. So, Leanne's just... called off the dogs for now. Nick's had a bit of What's a next in your big evil master plan? So, there they were. I could always do some waitressing shifts at the bistro. What, with a knackered ankle? Well, I could manage, and just until you've seen Dr. Oliver. And you know she loves working there. Uh, what was Michael doing hanging around here all day? He's been looking after me. He's been very kind. He bought us some flowers before. Did he now? Actually, um, we're seeing each other. Oh, well, that's hardly a big shock, is it? The way he's been stalking you. Oh, Nick, now don't be childish. Actually, he's quite a nice man, despite the tag. Have you heard this, Kyla? What? Me and Michael, we're seeing each other. Uh, do you have a problem with that? Mum, I want another story. Quite frankly, Gail, I've got enough problems of my own. Go to bed, Max. So, we have your blessing, then? Why do you need our blessing? Mum! Oh, I'm off. Uh, look, do you want me to stop over in your spare room tonight, just in case? I'm fine. I'll walk him on. Mum! Oh, go to bed, Max! Thanks for keeping quiet. What? I'm working your shift. Hi, David. Mother. You can't work my shift. You can barely walk. No, I won't hear any complaints. Go on, put your feet up. You go home. You put your feet up. I'm fine. Oh, I'm fine. You're not fine. Well, neither are you. Oh, look, look, I'm going to go get Carly a present. I'll leave you to it. I bought her a sewing kit. So many birthdays this time of year. Mine, Lily next, then Max. Well, I'd be frightened of tripping up in them. Says the woman who used to go to the shop in fluffy mules. Oh, God. David, I never went to the shops in Miss Slippers. Have you heard that, Gail? We're not common, David. Oh, I have to be honest. Mules are quite alluring. Mm, just like these big clodoppers. <laughs> Sexy, aren't they? <laughs> are you all right? Look a bit peaky. Blimey, how much sellotape did you use, Gail? Oh, yeah, Michael mentioned that. Yeah. I do tend to get a bit gung-ho when I'm rapping. Uh. I think I've got some vitamin tablets in my bag. I think you could do with them. No, I'm all right, I'm all right. No, you're not, love, I can tell. You don't have to be a martyr, you know. Look, it's Kylie's birthday, you know. It's not National Dot on Nick Day. Yeah, David's right, you know. Oh, I said this is a nice card, isn't it? Oh, it's from Nick. Oh. Did he remember to write in it? Yes, I remembered to write in it. What is that? I think it's a... It's a sewing kit. Oh, oh, I didn't know you were into sewing, Carl. I'm not. Well, it was Michael's idea, actually. I think he had a bit of a light bulb moment. I think she'd have preferred the light bulb. Uh, think of all the darning and mending you can do for Lily and Max. Now you'll, you'll save a fortune. Yeah, that's great. Thanks, Gail. Yes, you want to be careful I don't steal that off you, Carl. <laughs> Who knows, eh? This time next year, I might be wearing them curtains. <laughs> hey, babe, I was thinking, like, tonight, yeah, why don't we go out for a meal? 
Like the bistro or something? Oh, yeah, wicked. Oh, that's a lovely idea. If we go early, we can take the kids as well. Uh, Gail, no. I think David was thinking more of a meal à deux, sweetheart. Oh, ma'am, for goodness sake. A birthday's not a birthday unless you have a table full of people. Right. I, um... I could give Michael a ring. Oh. But he's on his tag. No, but we've already said if, if we eat early enough... Bob's your uncle. Oh, Kylie, you'll be over the moon you want him there. Eh? What a lovely birthday you're having. Yeah, your best ever. You could always say you were fully booked. Hey, I heard that. I'll get you them vitamin tablets done. Thanks, Graham. It won't bring it off, then I'm gonna have to go and buy a grouting pen. Yeah, I'll have to go soon, actually. We've got this meal for Kylie. Oh, well, it's nice to have invited Michael. Oh, yes, Kylie was most insistent. Oh, good. Well, now they're being all welcoming to him. That's nice. He's a nice man, Sally. At the end of the day, they can see that. I mean, the person I'm most worried about at the moment is Nick. What is he doing? Abysmal, thanks to Madam here. Gail, if you've got something to say, say it to me face and not me back. Well, do you know, you've got that many, it's difficult to choose something. Uh, I'm not two-faced. I tell it how it is, and Nick's faking them headaches. Leanne, he's got brain damage. Oh, well, at least he's got one. You what, sir? Well, how can you be so vile? You can't have much up there if you think somebody would make something like that up. You know what this is? Boring. It's a vendetta. You're destroying him. Breaks my heart. Kylie insisted. They're not a bad lot underneath. They must take after you, then. <laughs> yeah, I'll be fine in a minute. Nick, what's happened? I think Leanne's been kicking off at him. He's not too good. Can't you keep her in check? I'll have a word. She's going to push him too far. I'm fine. Well, you never ask. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kylie. Happy birthday to you. Oh, yeah. You have a beautiful yeah. brato. Oh, oh. <laughs> Leanne, what is it? What's happened? She's on one. Who's she, the cat's mother? Hey, that's his best brandy. What's his best brandy? Oh, heck. What have I missed? Come on, Nicky. Are you so intent on destroying everything that we've loved, everything that we've worked for? Let me help you. Oh, I don't believe this. Nick, will you do some? I've got the kids. Leanne! I'm so sorry about this. Don't you apologise to him. Right, that's it. I'm taking the kids on. <laughs> Max, up. I need the loo. Well, you have to use the one at home. Come on. Look, maybe, maybe I should. Oh, typical. What, what do you want me to do? Oh, do what you want. Thanks for ruining my birthday, Leanne. Yeah, well, blame him. Now, what do you think you're trying to prove? Oh, I haven't even started yet. Come on, Nicky, what's stopping you? His human decency, maybe, Leanne. Yeah, yeah. Leanne. Leanne. Oh, what's up? Feeling a little bit wobbly, are we? Are we about to have another one of our funny turns? It's such a waste of good gin, that. Not oh. happy, is she? She's lost it. Come on, Nicky. Come on, have a go. It's therapeutic. What's stopping you? I'll stop smashing up the place if you tell this lot the truth. You're putting it on, aren't you? Aren't you? I don't have to answer that question. You're being ridiculous. Oh. You think that's ridiculous, do you? Yeah, yeah, I do. Well, you're wrong, because this <gasps> is ridiculous. Yeah. Leanne, what are you doing? Is this? Yeah. Leanne! Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, look, and what about this? Are you all right, girl? Leanne! Leo, I'll tell you what else is ridiculous. You and these pathetic little turns. That's the best one. I wish you'd just drop it. Oh, Gail, your wine's off. Oh, heck. Leanne, I see Nick every day. I really don't Listen, think... I was married to him. I know him better than anybody on this planet. Why won't you all believe me? Simon thinks you're dying, you know that? Make you feel good, does it? Putting the fear of God in a child like that? Yeah, well, nice one, Nick. Good luck with that, cos you've got this lot convinced. 
Get off me. Don't you dare walk oh, out. you can shut, shut up, Gail. Sit down. Yeah. Simon, just score points and win sympathy, and I'll tell you something else. No, 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 no. You won't, mind. No, well, you need someone to defend you, Nick. You're in no fit state to do it yourself. See, actually, I no, am. you think you are. No. Leanne's right. What? About what? I've been faking it. What are you saying? My car's not here. How could you? Nick, your poor mother's been gone out of her mind. I'm sorry. Leanne, I'm so sorry. Yeah, me too. He was very convincing. I said it ended in tears, didn't I? Oh, because you're right about everything, of course. Sorry? David? You knew David? Mm, yeah, he told me. So why didn't he say anything? Look, don't all look at me, all right? He's the one who's been faking it, not me. Well, if your sole purpose in all this was to embarrass your mother, you've succeeded. Are you coming home? Yeah, come on, Leon, let's go. Just want to know why. OK, everyone out. I need some space. Floor show's over. Everything's on the house. Come on. Everyone out. Yeah, what the boss said. Come on. Everyone out. I can't see you. Bottle caramel. Mmm, lush. I got Turkish delight. <laughs> oh, I meant to say thank you for my sewing kit. It saves. I love sewing, me. Well, it was uh, a bit of a light bulb moment. Top present. OK, now, Lily's in bed and Max is playing with his tablet finger. I'm not quite sure what happened back there, but um, I, I need to go. This family happened back there, Michael. Yeah, better get used to it, pal. Oh, Kylie, I'm sorry. Has your birthday been a total washout? Almost as bad as my fifth birthday party. Sorry? When no one turned up. Then we realised you'd forgotten to send out the invite. Welcome to the Audrey Potter School of Mothering. I don't know why you've brought that up now, Gail. And as a matter of fact, there was never going to be a party in the first place. Really? Yes, well, you'd got it into your head there was, and nobody could dissuade you. So, you see, there weren't any invites. I can't believe we am smashing the place up like that. I'm glad I missed out fun. It wasn't a bit of street theatre, Kylie. Imagine how Nick felt to resort to such drastic measures. Oh, surely you're not defending him, Gail. Well, he's been through an awful lot. Well, he's put us through a hell of a lot, no. I mean, come on. Just remember how worried you've been. It's a mother's job to worry. Oh, is it? Oh, I didn't know that. Tell you what, Mikey boy. At least the spotlight went on you for a change. <laughs> Gail, I, I ought to be making tracks. Uh, are you sure you're going to be OK? Only I was thinking you could... Um, you, you could come and stay with me if you're feeling out of sorts. Um, no, I'm... Um, uh... I'm going to stay here, actually, in case uh, Nick comes over. Well, uh, I'm at the end of a phone, if you need to talk. Thanks, Michael. Thanks a lot. Don't think I could have got through today without you. How are you going? Oh, I'm explaining to do. David, would you turn that down, please? I'm um, sorry. What I did was a barn. Anna. Anna, I'm sorry I ruined your evening, Carney. Nothing a free meal wouldn't put right. It's yours. And you don't need to worry about Leanna. That's sorted. It'll all be amicable from now on. Thank God for that. I couldn't keep up. I've been so rude to Leanne. Well, not rude, exactly. No, uh, you were rude, girl. She did smash up the bistro. Sweetheart. You don't think you might need some help? I mean, you have been through an awful lot. He's got all the help he needs right here. From all of us. From me. Onwards and upwards now. Nick? Yeah? Thanks. Both! What's happening? Oh, it's nothing bad. It's, it's just a false alarm. How are you meant to be getting the kitchen straight? Yeah, but I thought she was gonna do this walk, but she ended up just, you know. <laughs> <laughs> She's leaving us a merry day. 
hands, aren't you? Yeah. Take after your uncle, Nick, don't you? That's not funny. Is he coming, Nick? Because I'm not having him freaking out at the party. No, no, he's working, but he's going to get his chef to make us a cake and he's going to bring it over. Well, it's not going to be a party if we don't all get a shift yeah, on. Have a kid free water. What time's she coming? Um, half past, so ten minutes ago. <sighs> it's not, is it? Oh, I should be at work. Oh, don't mess the bathroom. I've just done it. Right, I'll go to fresh clothes. The garden's clear, ready for the bouncy castle as well. Bouncy castle? Oh, that bouncy castle we weren't going to mention because we didn't want him getting overexcited. When's he coming? Chase your grand, David. Get her to take him out or something. There's enough wants doing without him creating. Bounce, 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 bounce. Is he skipping? Oh, he's supposed to be talking to Max, not blowing raspberries on Lily's belly. Doesn't oh, it sound lovely? I can't believe she's won, you know. It only seems a heartbeat away that you were that age, Gail. Well, I suppose it is, if your heart only beats once every 50 odd years. <laughs> I mean, when you think of all the life that you've had, and then you think of her, and she's got all that in front of her. <laughs> Would you swap? Do it all again? No, oh, heavens no. No, me neither. Unless you could take everything you know with you, you know. Yes, do it all again, but without the mistakes. Well, wouldn't that rule me out of the equation? <laughs> yes, <laughs> probably, yeah. <laughs> Where's that cucumber one? What about you, Kylie? Would you be younger again? I had to go back to the start with Max. Nonsense. He's a lovely little lad. Underneath? Underneath? Well, underneath all that's going on with him. Which might be no, or no medical. Just what I've done. No, he's always known he's been loved, and that's the main thing. Are you sure about that? Maybe not by you, but he's known he's been loved by somebody. I mean, you know that time when you... Well, when Becky had him. Bought him? Yeah, well, that proves that she loved him and we've been there for him ever since even when things have been difficult you mean when i've been difficult now you're just being paranoid and until we know what we're dealing with we just have to take things one day at a time God, if this is somebody early they're getting that quiche in the face yeah okay i think I, you should put that knife down sweetheart <laughs> so, i saw the bouncy castle and i just wondered if you needed any help Oh, well, that's kind of you, Sally. And have you got a corkscrew? Ooh. A little treat for the workers, eh? Oh, and I found these pictures of Rosie's first birthday. It's crazy, really, the amount of trouble I went to. I got myself into a right fizz. I mean, this is more like it. Casual. Do you want to see them? Oh, the... Oh, look, it's a castle. Don't think I'll risk it. Gravity's not good to us at our age in all kinds of ways. Top up. Come on, oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, 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 give the present to Audrey. Thank hey. you. Oh, that is oh. so lovely. Where's the birthday girl? Uh, outside with Carly. I'm just going to pop this in here because uh, they're going to be opening the presents with her tonight. Oh, Audrey, I was just wondering, could I nip over the road? I want to check out Jason. Oh, Fizz, please, on. come on, not you as well. I mean, Tracy Barlow just dumped and ran. Maria's walking the dog, leaving Liam. It's not like a crash in the boat. Oh, no, I was only... I'll phone later. It's nothing urgent. <laughs> My mum said to tell you, if you give me milk, she'll sue. I'm allergic. Oh. What's first for? Max won't let anyone have a go on the bouncy castle. You just tell him it's your turn. I did. He told me to get lost. What? Time out. David told you the rules and kicking Liam wasn't one of them. I didn't kick him. No, but you tried to, didn't you? You can go up in your room and think about that one. It's a rubbish party anyway. Room now. This is very harsh on him. Any kid would be excited at a party. It's normal. You. Monkey. I thought, um, Katie was bringing Joseph, not you. No, she couldn't come. Oh, is she all right? Oh, I got a better offer, I reckon. Where's the birthday girl? <gasps> What's this, Lily? Oh, no, where did I see candles? David will know. That kid's rubbish. Close the window, Max. You're supposed to be having time out. It's rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. Oh! What's up with her? What's happened? Max! 
quit it! Quick! Come see! Lily's walking! Did you take a first step? Have I missed it? Oh, there'll be other ones, sweetheart. It was more like a stumble. She didn't really have much control. No, she's done that before. It's all right. False alarm. Everybody go back to what you're doing. Oh, I missed Maxon. I got it on video. I don't want it on video. I wanted to see it. But it's all right. It's not technically a first step. Flaming Max. He's a bit of a handful, isn't he? Yeah, we're working on him. We spend a lot of time in front of the telly. Well, not as much as we'd like. They say that's bad for them, don't they? Spending their lives in front of a screen. They need to be outside, playing in the fresh air. Parents these days are not strict as we were. Oh, listen, Super Nanny, you don't know anything about my son. You are in big trouble. Do you know that? All right, Davey, just leave it, yeah? Oh, girl, your boyfriend's here. He's here for the kids, actually. Anybody want an ice cream? Ooh, Ooh ice cream! <laughs> It is Lily's special day, so she should be sending attention. Have a chance. There you go, sweetheart. Oh, yeah, oh. say thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Oh. Thank you. Right, who's next? Remember, don't be letting Max have one. They're full of E numbers, it'll make him hyper. Oh, do you know, he lobs half the contents of the house through the window and she's worried about him having a 99. Have a little one, can't you? I mean, it is a celebration. He's mad. Mini rolls, party rings, wafer biscuits. He's got more chemicals in him than a rave. Yeah, no, he did have a few of those apple slices, though. I mean, doesn't that sort of offset it? Yeah, and all the other kids are having one. We can't stop him having one. I have a very special lolly for Max. Does he deserve it, though? It's a special spaceship lolly. Free from all artificial additives and flavourings. Oh, that's so thoughtful. <laughs> that's thoughtful. So he's got Joseph? Well, I think that went quite well. <laughs> Apart from Max kicking off. Somebody's kicked off at every kid's party I've ever been to. Oh, stop it. He's not that different to the others. You just think he is because you know what you know. He is different, Gail. That's the whole point. It's like you've got him under a microscope. You're studying his every move. He's a seven-year-old boy. Do other seven-year-old boys play up like that? He just ruined his sister's birthday party. Thanks again for getting him the lolly. I know what Max is like. I should have known how he'd be. Pinch me, I'm dreaming. What? So you can still use it, then? Thought you'd forgotten after all this time. <laughs> Is that what you said to him last night? Uh, I'll put the kettle on. So what's all this in aid of? Could smell the polish at the bottom of the street. I've got the psychiatrist coming round today. I don't want to think I can't call. Maybe she'll die in the street. I've got the psychiatrist coming round today. I don't want to think I can't call. Maybe she'll diagnose OCD. I just want things to look... You look done in, love. Do you have a hard night with her? <sighs> She's teething. If I've got two hours straight, it's as much kip as I got. I must admit, I was glad to get away myself for the night. Well, as so long as you're happy. It just seems like there's no end to it, and then Max being the way he is. All right. I'll see to Lily. You grab the vac. And you, bed. No, I've got to do <laughs> You've got to go to sleep. And that's an order. You heard the lady. One thing I've learned is it doesn't pay to argue with her. Listen, I know it's... Where's David with that air freshener? She'll be here any minute. Oh, calm down. It smells fine in here. Right. You're going to be a good boy for me, eh? Of course you are. The lady's just going to watch you play and ask you... What? Well, you can cover that up. Sorry. You haven't got any prison tats, have you? No, he hasn't. Well, I guess you'd know. Just try not to look criminal, yeah? I'll do my best. Oh, it stinks in here. I'm going to have to spray some of my deodorant. No, we'll be choking. I've got a Millennium Falcon as well. Do you want to see it? If you like. I think she'll be all right. I'll feel happier when David's home. I've got to find it first. What are you doing? Michael wants to see my Millennium Falcon. It's not my fault. Are you deliberately trying to make me look bad? What are you even doing here, anyway? Sat there drinking tea when six months ago you were trying to steal our telly. You couldn't even make it up. Don't speak to Michael like that. Well, I might have known you'd stick up for him after your trip down memory lane last night. 
Rather you than me. Turns my stomach. Thought of him standing there with just his tag on. Um, this is Amanda Dewhurst, the specialist nurse. Put the kettle on. Good idea. You must think that we're right. I don't think anything. I'm not here to judge how well you've tidied up or how good a parent you are. I'm just here to see how things are for you all and to see how Max is at home. Well, why don't you two sit down and I'll make a nice cup of tea? Or would you prefer a cappuccino? Why are you talking funny? Why don't we leave David and Kylie to it and uh, take Lily for a walk, if that's all right? But I... Yeah, that'd be great, thanks. Oh, okay, I'm getting a buggy. Is it help? Oh. I want to come. Listen, mate, why don't you stay here and play with, with me and your mum and then Gail will take you out another time? Yeah, of course I will. Bye. Bye. Mine's milk, no sugar. Hi, Ken. How's Peter? Oh, wish I could tell it was good news. Oh. Sorry. It must be a terrible worry for you. Yeah, well, seems like that's a parent's lot. Well, if there's anything I can do... Sorry, it's the hospital. Hello? Yeah, speaking. Is everything all right? It's Peter. Was anyone with him? All right, thank you. Bye. He seems he's had a... I don't know, a seizure or something. What did they say? Just that it was very serious. OK, if you'll excuse me. I'll... No, of course, you go. I hope he's... I hope everything's OK. Things. It's a little bit like a jigsaw. Once I have all the pieces, I'll be able to see the whole picture. Yeah, but after what you've seen... It... Oh, I, I wasn't sure if... Uh, sorry. No, it's perfect timing. I'm just leaving. We'll meet in clinic soon. Yeah. Right, well, um, we'll just wait to hear from you then. Yes, and thank you. Thanks. Bye. 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 Well? Well, nothing, really. I just have to wait until she sees him in school. Where is he? Upstairs. Tore a page out of his book and threw it across the room. Oh, dear. They're going to say he's got it. I no, know that... You don't know that. I do. <sighs> i better go check he's all right. Listen, I don't have to be back for a bit. Why don't you two nip to the bistro? Give you a chance to wind down. Your mum and me will look after the kids yeah. if you... That's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, cheers. I think she needs it. Well, some people just want you there.